all right hello everyone and peace of christ to all of you i hope my voice is coming good and clear please invite your friends um i did not post anywhere yet that we are live on air uh, so please post around and tell your friends that we are here uh, i'm going to post on facebook right now and in other pages so people will be informed the same time I'm talking to you uh, today our topic is about the Trinity you see it's very well known that the Muslims supposedly they reject the Trinity and Trinity is something totally unaccepted in Islam and Muslims always they keep saying to us that they believe in religion it's called Islam which is religion of Tawheed but none of the Muslims even can tell us what does that mean exactly. I mean, what Tawheed mean? It's just a plain word, mean nothing. And actually, if you go in details in the Arabic language, you will see it is Tawheed does not mean the oneness of God. Actually, it is the opposite. When somebody says, I believe in Tawheed, he just admitted that he believe that there is gods, he want to unite them gods you see in trinity we don't believe in gods we need to unite them we believe in one god when the muslims they say they believe in tawhid tawhid is a word in arabic mean unification or uniting something if the god is one how you can unite the god i mean what you will do to him exactly if he's one what you will unify what together you know, like as an example, if I want to say the American, they met and they decide to do Tawheed to America. That is simply, I'm saying they decide to unify and make a united state of America. As simple as that. So when a Muslim, he says to us, he believes in Tawheed, obviously the one who chose that word is a donkey. He don't speak Arabic very good. And... It cannot be really something coming from someone who speak a good Arabic. Same time, if we look in the Quran, we will not find even the word. I mean, where is the Tawheed? The Muslim will say to you, well, where we can find the word the Trinity in the, Quran, in, the, in the Bible as an example? Well, we can find it, you know, because Trinity is, is just a symbolic word people, they, uh, they used to use uh, to say to to let us say to give a definition an easy definition what Christianity believe that's all otherwise we do not need the word Trinity to believe in the Trinity Trinity is just a, a phrase used today in this world and you know uh, before nobody even used it it's not necessarily depend on the language uh, like in Arabic I never use uh, you know we never use this word Trinity what Trinity you know we never use it you know we have we have uh, the the you know uh, the word in Arabic we use uh, the word al thaluth al thaluth al quddus the thaluth is simply from the word three but we never use the word trinity the same as in English for example but the meaning the the uh, the definition everything is different and it's very easy to explain and very easy to uh, to understand what Christians believe in, but when, when a Muslim he say he believe in Tawheed, that's very confusing. What do you mean you believe in Tawheed? What, what, what Tawheed is exactly? So today we are going to talk about this, and my Skype is open for any Muslim who would like to call us, anytime he wish. Any Muslim who would like to call us, please feel free. Only Muslims. I will not take calls for now at least, from anyone except Muslims, if you don't mind. Uh, and the reason we want Muslims to call because we want you to hear the other side of the story. You see, Muslims, they always like to like you to hear one side of the story. This is why in the Middle East, we cannot talk. We can't even debate Muslims. The second you answer a Muslim, let us say a Muslim, he said to you, Christianity is false. And you are a person who live in Pakistan. And you say to him, no, Christianity is not false. Your religion is false. The second you say that, you go to jail and mostly they will execute you. So, because Islam by nature is not a friendly religion, it is a demonic, violent religion, 
the second you don't agree with them it's the same second they will do their best to shut you down and mostly by killing you uh, you know I saw many Muslims saying to me why you don't show your face why you don't show your face first of all you know I don't show myself myself for many reasons you know I go to Islamic countries and nobody knows about me if I show my face I will not be able to enter Islamic countries and I will be arrested immediately when I arrive in the airport so that because Islam is not a good religion Islam is an evil religion and they cannot handle you saying something anything the only way to stop you is to kill you to prison you to jail you like now in Turkey Turkey claimed to be a part of the NATO but when a priest he said something they arrested him right away and he is in jail and he is an American so imagine if you are Turkish they will forget about you I mean who who's going to talk about you this guy he's a priest they are talking about him just because in you know, American otherwise if he is just a normal Christian Turkish he will disappear okay, well, how many how many Christians have been killed by the Turkish Ottoman Empire through history and nobody talk about it because Europe today is a is a as a government of potatoes tomatoes who do business only they care only for how to how to import cheap sardine from Morocco how to get cheap employment from Turkey how to get uh, all kind of garbage you know but they don't really care for something real uh, you know uh, something uh, important or oh, what they care for business business is the most important like now you know we talk about refugee uh, uh, European countries they try to present themselves that they are the countries who take refugees right but the fact uh, Germany is doing what George Soros want George Soros he wanted cheap employment he controlled the major businesses in Europe and England is no exception and you know uh, cheap employment is extremely important for those companies and how we can afford them if I want to hire, you know, uh, a British citizen who is a citizen already, well, he will ask for a lot of money, bigger salary, insurance, retirement, etc. I mean, let me get a refugee who will accept to work for almost nothing just to survive and maybe save some pennies in his pocket and send it to his family in Kenya, in Nairobi, in Zambia, in Ethiopia, etc. So they don't really, they don't care really for anything about the value. Like what you see in TV about we care, like this miracle is saying, uh, you know, we welcome refugees. She, this is not her words. Those are the words of George Soros, who own Europe. Uh, you know, George Soros is a, is a man who uh, who is really is the same as Muhammad in his time. He owned most of Europe. He owned most of America. He owned most of Canada. He owned most of Australia. Uh, he owned most of Saudi Arabia. He owned most of Kuwait. Most of the, you know, he owned the world. He is the guy who make people kings and president. And this guy, you know, uh, uh, is what appear for you to be a person like you know, when you when you hear the agenda of the liberals, always you ask them who is who is the one support you by money. I mean, the money of the liberals is coming from where? Coming from George Soros. Okay, well, who is just George Soros? Why George Soros is so interested in bringing, you know, uh, uh, those uh, 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 refugees from uh, from the Middle East and from Africa? Why is so important? Is that because he is really, he care for a human right? He care for the poor? If he care for the poor, what about you give all the money for you have for the poor? What about tomorrow you donate 50% of your budget huh, for one year, not all, not all uh, entire life? To the African in those poor countries, you know, do let us see the good of you. He don't want to do that, and he will never do that. They donate only for parties who want to take control of countries to make a president win or to make a president lose. If the president go against them like Trump, they will give him the hell of time, and they will do everything in their best so they can take him down. As we see right now in the in 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 America. Trump, he presented a guy for the Supreme Court to be a judge, and he is a conservative judge. So the conservative judge, that will make the, the, the majority of the judges in the Supreme Court of USA, uh, they are conservative. And this is a big, big problem to George Soros. 
how he can control America after now. So look what happened. Every like th th this guy suddenly a woman she this uh, appeared and she said this guy he he you know he tried to rape me, and then another woman she said his guy he exposed his penis to me, and then a third girl she said he was trying to kiss me, and I'm sure they will bring more. Now every whore in the country suddenly she became molested or being attacked by this guy. Thirty six years ago they claim he did those things. Thirty six years ago. This guy is a judge all his life. They never mentioned and they said a word against him. And now, suddenly, he is the biggest scumbag ever. All of this is because George Soros, he will not let the Supreme Court go in the hand of the conservative for that will make him lose. And maybe even he, they might even uh, uh, do some uh, extreme uh, measurement against him and check uh, if he is legal if he is i'm sure this guy he have a lot of illegal activities illegal activities so they do everything they, they can to stop and same as history same as religion always is written by the one who have the power you see they asked me about hitler for sure hitler is a criminal there is no question about that but if hitler was the winner in second world war ii do you think anyone will dare to speak against hitler do you think any of you will dare to say if you are Nazi, you are rejected or even you will be arrested? <laughs> that will be a joke of the century. Nobody will dare to do so. Always history written by the hand of those who win. Those who lose, they are defeated and they have no history to write. If Hitler was the winner, everybody today will be praising him and if not worshipping him. Because he will force you to worship him anyway. And Islam is no exception. Hitler of Islam, Muhammad, he and his gang, they kill anyone speak against them. And we can show you tons of thousands of examples of Muhammad killing people for just speaking a word against him. As an example, there is a woman, her name is Umm Qirfa, or there is a guy, his name Abu Akif, or 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 we can we can quote many stories where Muhammad he killed people just because they said an opinion against him. Somebody, if you say Muhammad is a false prophet, the second you say that you will be a target to be assassinated by Muhammad gang. Now Muhammad, uh, 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 the or let's say the gang of Muhammad became victorious, and they are the one who's writing the history, and the one who write history is the one who tell history, the one who lose. Nobody speak about the true history or at least the other side of the story. You see, today France celebrating the heroes from Algeria. The heroes from Algeria. But the heroes of Algeria in France, they are traitor in Algeria. So look this the two sides of the story one country is celebrating the algerian people who joined the french army fighting against the algerian calling them heroes and other country consider them a shameful people who they all betray their countries and if they go there if they're still alive they will execute them two sides of the story for one country they are you know they are heroes for the other countries they are criminals and they are people who betray uh, their own people and which mean they brought nothing but a shame to themselves so always always when you hear somebody try to find the two side of the story and this is why i want muslims to call me because i want muslims to to present the two side of the story we don't want to be the same as the muslims who like only to hear one side of the story i don't like that this is why i encourage muslims always to call us and we hear them now, uh, the last uh, debate I have with this guy, Dr. Rohi, if you remember, if you notice, there is some Muslims posting in the text saying, this guy is not an imam and he is not a doctor. This guy is a liar, etc. Okay, well, let us say, let us say, the Muslims are saying this guy is a liar. By the way, this guy, he have a chat room in Paltok. He's very well known by the Muslims. And none of them, he says that this guy is not a doctor and he is not an imam. But because the Muslims always, when they are so much disappointed of debating or of a debate happened, like if you remember, 
when I debated uh, 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 Imam Al Husseini, Hisham Al Husseini. Let me see. A poor bird hit my window. I feel sorry for him. Uh, let me see if I can get you the video so you can see the. If you can see the comments, you will see how the Muslims they are accusing this Imam that I paid him money. I mean, this guy is the head of the Islamic Center of Michigan. Uh, he was a consultant for George Bush, supposedly, the stupid George Bush. I don't know how he hired him. God knows how much money he made from the, the stupid American government. Uh, uh, he is a big shake for for uh, for for those uh, Abdul in in uh, specifically in Michigan, and suddenly he is being paid by me. Why? Because in the debate I made him shish kebab. The Muslims they cannot, you know, they cannot be be honest and say Islam is a stupid. Islam nobody can defend it. It doesn't matter if this guy Al Husseini or someone else. It doesn't matter who is he. What about you? Bring me the best you have, and let us see if he can do better. Can you? I found a debate with the with Hisham Al Husseini. Hold on, let me give you a second. Okay, let's see here. Hisham Al Husseini. All right. Shukran lakum. Ahlan wa sahlan. Ama'i kaman al akh Christian. Ahlan wa sahlan biik. Tafaddal. Ama'ak sabah daqai. Min al an. Awal an. نبدأ بالسلام سلام المسيح على الشيخ هشام ونرحب به معنا في البرنامج وأتمنى أن يكون هذا النقاط. This is a sheikh. You will see him in the in the in the screen. This guy, when he starts speaking with him, as you see, he is wearing the Islamic clothing, and he is a sheikh, and he is a well known, and he have interview with the Sean Hannity in Fox News. I mean, this guy is very well known. Still, the Muslims. Because they were very much unhappy by what happened in this debate. So what they will do? They have to make a discredit, like to this guy. He obviously he cannot be a sheikh. I mean, how how come he is sheikh, but he is so stupid? I mean, have you ever a Muslim he can answer anything? Why you are blaming me? Look how many interview this guy he have. Fox News, all kind of you know they could not make him say the truth. Look, this is in Fox News. This guy is very well known, and just because he could not answer me, the Muslim Abdul, they accuse him to be a false sheikh, and even I paid him money, and maybe I gave him some potatoes, tomatoes. This is the scenario always. Anyone I debate, I hope the screen is coming. This is the guy. Anyone I debate, he will end to be in the in the garbage bag of the Islamic, uh, you know, basket because they cannot explain why he could not answer. They could not explain why Islam is so stupid. So what we will do now? I mean, okay, Islam is really in trouble. Islam is stupid. Islam is crazy. If you watch the debate, this guy was jumping left and right. He don't know what to do with himself. He have no idea what to do. الله ترسه هو التقية هو ترس الله والتالي حتى رس حتى رسولكم يقول وأمتكم تقول بأن دفاع الله عن نفسه هو بالكذب ولهذا نرى القرآن يقول بأن الله قد شبه بالمسيح شخصا يشبهه فدافع عنه بهذه الطريقة وبالتالي فإن الله في القرآن غشاش المسيح نهانا على أن حتى نقسم إما أن Anyway, if you see, uh, you can watch the debate in Arabic. You will see how the Muslims, uh, you know, uh, the, the guy, he is going crazy. He's like, oh, shaking his head. He want to bite himself. He want to beat himself. 
he don't know what to do in the beginning of the debate guys this guy he gave me a speech of how friendly Islam is we today thanks to Allah today we are going to talk me and you Christians and we are brothers and sisters and it happened today in this occasion that the same day uh, Mir Miriam she was born like the Muslim they knew when the day of Miriam she was born and the same day uh, Fatima she was born but something like that I forgot exactly like about he spoke about Fatima and Miriam and you know like if you if you hear him you would think this guy is an angel after I start spanking his religion suddenly he said in the debate they will cleanse people like me which means they will kill us all people who like me and he used me to be a Zionist for the Muslim this guy he is not a good sheikh he is a fake sheikh <laughs> Did you hear it? He said, I swear by Allah, this guy is an agent for the Zionist. Tafadal. <laughs> You see, in Allah, we have an Islam. We are the Hajjim. Ya Akhi, Nahnu, Nurid, and Nata'awan, Ma'al Masih. Brother, brother, we are trying to get close with the Christians, but this Zionist, this Zionist Christian prince, I swear by Allah, he's a Zionist. I swear by Allah. I mean, <laughs> he could not answer me about anything. I said, look what he do. All the Muslims are the same. The what is the answer is all the things I said answer me I am a Zionist I am a, a dinosaur I am a, who are, whoever I am who care what about you give us questions or answers for what we said already this is what you have is doing so all of them they are from one like they have one agenda we bring them shakes wearing big abaya big balushi tabushi in the top of their head they have no idea how to answer. They sound stupid. They talk stupid. Islam is stupid. It's not my fault. And then what they say to you, you are a Zionist. And you know, this is one of the funny things, by the way, about things I do. Uh, because I always say things as it is. As an example, the Protestant get upset from me because I'm, I, I defend the Catholic. I'm not defending the Catholic. I'm saying the truth. The, the Catholic, they get upset from me because sometimes I say things they don't like to hear. They say, oh, you are taking the side of the Protestants. So, so I'm, everybody is upset from me. The Protestant, the Catholic, the Muslims, the Jews, everybody. Because the second you start saying things as it is, people get upset. The only way to make everybody happy is to be hypocrite. If you say that pictures and icons and statues are wrong, somebody will be upset. If you say, you know, you just say anything. The second you say the truth, people get upset. And I'm just being fair. I'm saying that this has happened always, not only with Muslims, even Christians. I don't take a side. I don't care if you are a Muslim or not. I say things as it is. And none of you Muslims can answer. For me, I don't care what even like a Christian sect you are. I don't care if you're Catholic or Protestant because those names mean nothing for me. Honestly, they mean nothing for me. I believe all those names are not even Christian names. Those are from the devil who divided us to make us churches, not one church. Christ is the leader of one church. And all those who believe in him, they are his followers. There's no Catholic, there's no Protestant, there's no Orthodox. All of this is from the division, the vision of, of the devil. And I refuse to be part of his plan. Same as Islam. Islam could not conquer the Christians by Islam. So we conquer them in different way. We make them Catholic and Protestant. And we make them kill each other. This is what the Quran says, chapter 5, verse 14. I will string hate and enmity between them until the judgment day. Who? The Christians. Who is talking? Allah. And who is Allah Muhammad?
we as a Christians and when I say we as a Christians you see people they by the way uh, in America when you say I'm a Christian it's mean you are saying you are Protestant that's not true you see Christian is anyone who follow Christ Christ is not a name for the Protestant or the Catholic so we as a Christians which mean whoever believe in the Messiah to be our Savior we should be always united against anything is evil all of us we are united by him that he is our savior who died for us in the cross he resurrected he believe in the father the, the son the holy spirit we believe in everything is the same and the differentiation between those churches is very silly but you know what when the devil he want to divide he make you really like a muslim who hate everybody around you you will see you know if you go right now search for the number 666 Sometime the the Antichrist is Trump, the Pope, Hillary Clinton, Muhammad. As you wish, you can make the number as you wish. You know, I mean, anyway. But but there is people. I mean, sometimes is sometimes they mention names are very funny. I mean, what those names have to do with the Antichrist? Everybody have his own agenda, and you. When you try to be honest, you don't take a side of anyone, you will find yourself alone. You see, when Muhammad, he claimed to be a prophet, he needed, an, uh, he needed a group to join. He cannot be a prophet without a group. It's the same as somebody going inside the jail and you don't have any gang to join. You have to join a gang to protect yourself. So Muhammad now, he claimed to be a prophet. What he will do? How I can be a prophet? I am not a Christian. I am not a Jew. I am not a Sabian. So what I will do? Muhammad, he found a very smart solution. I am all of those. I am a Christian. I am a Jew. I am a Sabian. But the Sabian, they hate the Jews and they don't believe in the God of the Christian and the Jews. In the book of the Sabian, they call the God of the Jews Satan. That's what the Sabian believe. And the Sabi and they hate the Jews for very and the God of the Jews for a, for a very simple reason. Anyone knows why? Anyone remember why? Who remember why the Sabi and we we mentioned that before? Why the Sabi and they hate the God of the Jews? Who remember? Nobody. I look like not many of you is taking uh, notes because the Pharaoh, right? So, you know, the Sabian, you see, many people do not know that the Sabian, they used to be one of the biggest religions. Actually, they are the biggest religion in the in the old, let us say, in the ancient land, which is like Middle East and uh, uh, Egypt and etc. And the Sabian believed that the Pharaoh himself was a Sabian. So when the army of the, the, the Pharaoh crossed the sea after Moses and then the God of Moses destroyed the army of the Pharaoh, that is what made the Sabian hate the God of the Jews because he destroyed them, he destroyed their army. So the Jews are an enemy for the Sabian. They hate them, they pray even against them. Muhammad, when he came to, to exist, he found around him three groups. He found Jewish. He found Nasara, not Christians. Nasara, it's a, it's a Christian cult like Jehovah's Witnesses. And he found Sabians. Those are the biggest three groups around him. Now, for the uh, sure, the Jews are not really big. You know, nothing for a very simple reason. Judaism is not based in conversion, which means... You can't convert to be a Jew, you know. You cannot. Now you see some uh, uh, some groups today, because the the Jews uh, they are shrinking by number. They are accepting people to convert, but in fact they never did that. You know, this is not really part of Judaism. Uh, to be a Jew, you have to be born of a Jewish mother and a Jewish father, but specifically a Jewish mother. Uh, so it's like something you inherit by birth more than something you can convert to. You cannot convert to be a Jew. Uh, so Muhammad, he wanted to be part of a group. 
and because he is a politically politically correct person as long he is weak in the beginning he speak to the sabi and he's a sabian he speak to the jews he's a jew he speak to the christian he's a christian the same as obama as you see in the front of you muhammad he promised the christians the jews the sabians to go to heaven i mean why the sabian will go to heaven the sabian they worship stars they have they, they believe in creators there's many gods and those gods have ranks so how we how we promise the sabian uh, to go to heaven what is the what is the really the uh, uh, what is behind that people don't want to think about it why muhammad is promising the sabian to go to heaven I challenge any Muslim to tell me why. If there's any Muslim can tell us why the Sabian will go to heaven. You see, the Muslims, and this is a clear proof that Islam is a false religion. The Muslim they say to us that Muhammad he believe in the same God of Christianity and the God of the Jews, but the Sabians they hate the Jews and the Christians' gods. It is their enemy. In their books is written that say the devil Adonai, the devil Adonai. You see, Adonai is one of the words described by the Jewish scriptures about God, Adonai, the same as you say Elohim. So Adonai, the God of the Jews who taught them to do circumcision, this is an act of the devil for them. You see, the Jews are devilish people. Why? Because they do circumcision. So it's something disgusting they do. The, the, the Sabi and they made fun of the, the Jews for doing that. You must be a devil to do that. So how Muhammad he accepted the Sabi and to be part of heaven? What what, what will it grant the Sabi and to go to heaven? If there is any Muslim listening? Anyone who is a Muslim is listening, he can give us an, a little answer. What really is the reason for the Sabians to go to heaven? What they did exactly, what they believe in, what they share with Islam to make them believe or to, to make them consider to be believers. Do the Sabian believe in Allah? Muslims, do the Sabian believe in Allah? The answer is yes. Muhammad is a Sabian. And Allah is a word used by the Sabian too. But Allah is one of the gods of the Sabians. The Sabian believe in many gods. You see, in the in the Arabian Peninsula, uh, every every uh, uh, territory they have their own god. So, as an example, in big in big territory in Europe, they used to worship the sun god. The sun. Okay, now we have the sun in Europe. Let us open a map. Hold on. Give me a second. All right. Let us show you in the screen. Okay. In those territories where the sun is rear, where the sun is beloved, where the sun is needed, to make it simple, everyone believe in the god which he like so in those countries where the sun usually does not appear much people miss it they love it so they worship the sun in those countries where the desert is the major
land like Saudi Arabia Jordan etc this area they are in love with the moon because the Sun bring death to them the Sun bring death no water will water will disappear fast it's hot it's extremely hot it's death it's killed the, the kill the grass the animals here the Sun bring life they wait for the Sun for long so the Sun is the God to be in love with because they need it here the moon is the God they need they do not need the Sun they are sick of the Sun so what what people used to believe that there is Sun God and moon God and you know the Muslim they will say to you as I saw that the idiot uh, uh, what his name I forgot his name doctor doctor white doctor white doctor white because he is a smart very smart person he said how you know a, a person asked him how Islam believe in the Sun in the in the moon God he said to, to, to that guy in the in the church he said how the Muslim believe you know in the moon God but the Quran says don't worship the moon <laughs> huh I mean what's wrong with you why, why you know don't believe in those lies the Quran says don't don't worship the moon but who said if you worship the moon God you are worshiping the moon you idiot the moon God is not the moon the Sun God is not the Sun you see when Muhammad was reciting the chapter of an Najm, chapter of an Najm, and his cousin he said, "Kafartu bi Rabbi Najm." I am a kafir in the Lord of the Najm. I don't want to believe him. Muhammad did not say that the Najm is God. He said that the Najm have a Lord, same as the moon have a Lord. So, worshiping the moon God does not mean you worship the moon. But the moon is a symbolic or the sign of God, which is the God of the moon. Don't listen to people who have no education, even though they have a PhD, because PhD sometimes is a sign of being stupid, not a sign of being smart. And to be honest with you, I never spoke to someone who have a PhD, he can have an answer for anything. Because those people, they, they try... Uh, you know they they hide behind the degree they earn in university man but the degree have nothing to do with knowledge it is a degree to earn by making certain search and certain study and you have to be accepted by a certain person and maybe he's a donkey too and you think you are a big guy so he give you a phd phd is not a reason to believe that someone is knowledgeable about what he speak about i remember once I sat next to a blind man in a bus and it was like few hours travel and I was astonished by the knowledge of this man and he's blind unbelievable he's like a walking talking library I loved sitting next to him for those two hours and I'm assure you he have no degrees so to go back to the topic which is about the Trinity in Islam if you look in the Quran you will see Muhammad he focus in something that Allah or Allah is the Lord okay where is this Lord is located he is located in heaven let us make an empty space here so we can draw I am sure you like my drawing as usual Or maybe we should go to uh, Google Earth. Yeah, let us go to Google Earth. Give me a second. <clears throat> and please, if you are a Muslim, feel free to call me. All right. And present your case as a Muslim. You are more than welcome.
You see, we open our uh, call for like hours, and then they say to you after we close that you are wrong, he's a liar, is a deceiver, etc. But during the time we are on air, they don't call us. Where is Google Earth? Here we go. <clears throat> All right. Usually when I open Google Earth, it's slow my internet, but I hope it's not going to be the case this time. All right. So this is in the front of us here, our Earth. The Quran focus always that there is a place which is called the house of Allah and supposedly this is Mecca and this is Mecca here let us make a dot this is Mecca location here and then above Mecca above Mecca exactly supposedly is the throne of Allah Allah is sitting here on his throne Allah, who is sitting in the throne, carried by eight angels. Every angel has four faces. Underneath of him, there is air. And above him, there is air. As the hadith says. Allah, he sent Adam to India. And actually, specifically to Sri Lanka. To Sri Lanka and then Allah ordered Adam to do Hajj all the way from Sri Lanka all the way to Mecca I hope the screen is coming clear to you guys let me know please if you have any problem is it coming good now Muslims they keep saying to us that Allah never, never, and Islam never, never accept the Trinity. But look what happened. Which Muslims, they agree 100% with it. Allah is up. Allah, he sent an angel, his name is Jibreel. He sent him down from the sky to this location. Now let us make it blue. Or red and then in this guy in this place Allah created a man his name is Muhammad his name is Muhammad And notice with me right away how the Trinity is created. We have Allah in the sky. He have a job. He is the Lord. We have a mid middleman. He is an angel. And actually the Muslim, they call him the Holy Spirit. And then we have a guy who is a human being. His name is Muhammad. And he is the one who will accomplish everything to make Islam spread and to make people worship Allah. But you will notice here with me that Islam is not capable to be exist without the number three. If you ask a Muslim, can I convert to Islam by saying I believe in Allah? He will say no. How I can convert to Islam? He said to you, you have to believe in Allah and Muhammad. Okay. Can I believe in Islam by Allah and Muhammad without believing in the Holy Spirit? He say no. You have to believe in Allah and Muhammad and the Holy Spirit. Can I believe in Islam that Allah, 
he inspired Muhammad directly without the Holy Spirit they will say no you have to believe that the inspiration came to Muhammad by the Holy Spirit can I believe in Allah and the Holy Spirit without believing in Muhammad no can I believe in Muhammad and the Holy Spirit without Allah no so the Trinity in Islam is extremely exist it's in the front of your eyes Islam is not exist without this Trinity now here we need to ask a few questions what is the need of Jibreel Jibreel the middleman who as you see he is in the middle and by the way this is not Gabriel Muhammad even the name he did not he was not able to quote it correctly so he called him Jibreel as usual he never quote a name correct the same as who is the father of uh, Mary his name is uh, 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 the, the father of Mary and the father of Moses and the father of uh, 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 Aaron is Amran. What, what Amran? Who's Amran? Amram became Amran. Gabriel became Jibreel. As usual, no problem. So here now, we have Allah. Let us clear a little bit the screen. We have Allah. We have Jibreel and we have Muhammad. The Trinity of Islam is based, or Islam is based on this Trinity. Now, someone might say, Well, what about the Quran? Well, the Quran is not a person, Trinity is about person. Allah is a person, Jibreel is a person, Muhammad is a person. And Islam based on a three person. But you will notice with me that Islam try always to replace the name of the Messiah. If you remember the hadith where it says, the Muslim believe that Allah, he said to Muhammad, if not you, Muhammad, I will not create the universe. If, I, if not you, I will not create the universe. So Allah did not create the universe for any reason except for Muhammad. The reason for you to exist, me and you, is very simple, that Allah, he wanted to create something for Muhammad. The purpose of the creation for the whole universe is one person, his name is Muhammad, as you see. And that is exactly what we learn in the Bible about Jesus, by him and for him, everything was created. The difference here, by Allah and for Muhammad, everything here is created. Are you getting the idea? Where in the Bible it says by him and for him, everything is created? Who can remind me? Which verse? By him and for him. That is about Jesus. Muhammad, he is just another cult like Jehovah's Witnesses. He tried to replace the Messiah. In fact, in certain time, Islam speak about Muhammad is as the Messiah and I believe that in certain time Muhammad he did not speak about himself to be a new person he spoke about himself to be the Messiah and I will make it simple for you Muhammad he had many names The most famous one is Muhammad. What Muhammad mean? Muhammad mean the praised one. Okay, if Muhammad is the praised one, who is God? Who is who's God? Muhammad is the praised one. See, Muslim, they believe in the Trinity. They believe in Allah and Muhammad and Jibreel. 
But the praised is one, his name is Muhammad. The second Muhammad, he called himself such a name, he announced himself to be God. For he is the praised one. And if Allah is the praise too, that means Allah is not God too. Because I mean, why you may praise Allah? Because Muhammad, he praised him. Allah, he praised Muhammad. The universe praised Muhammad. The angels praised Muhammad. Everything worship Muhammad. And Allah is just a tool to use or a name to announce. But he have no reason and he is not important. In Islamic countries, if you insult Allah, they will give you three days to repent. If you insult Muhammad, they will kill you. There's no repentance. Why? Because Allah is less important than Muhammad. Do we have any Muslim here who don't agree about what anything of what I said would like to give me a call? Anyone? What kind of religion believe that if not Muhammad, sky and earth and heaven and hell will not agree, uh, exist? The trees will not exist if not Muhammad. The Shia actually, they go farther in their madness from the Muslim Sunni. The Shia, they believe that Muhammad and his family, they wear stars or light in the forehead of Allah so let us draw Allah here you know me I'm very good in art so this is Allah who have a face of a man we are not sure if he's bald or not but we will assume he is not bald who have two ears he hear everything but his reception is not good and he have nose he have a mouth he have a cheek he have a neck i mean you name it okay according to the shia muhammad and his family they wear stars in the forehead of allah fatima ali hassan al hussein and Muhammad they are made of light and they are not a human this is what the Shia believe now remember the Shia they have a they, they have a you know they are like uh, the master of Taqiyya and they always if you ask them do you believe in this they will say to you uh, no 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 we don't believe in this but there are videos on in YouTube in Arabic you can watch there's thousand of them speaking about Muhammad that he is a light and I can quote them even in Arabic. I can, I can do even the same exact voice. Habibi hadole. Hadole mahum bashar. Hadole makhluqat nuraniya. Hadole mahum bashar ayoni. Hadole nur. Rasulullah nur. Fatima nur. Al Hassan, Al Hussein, Anwar. Hadole Anwar, akhoi. Kulham Anwar. All of them, they are made of nur. Hmm? And they used to be in the forehead of Allah. And Allah, because of His mercy, He sent from His nur five stars. Are you getting the point? This is the Shia. So Allah, He sent from His light, from His nur, light to the earth because of His mercy. He don't want us to stay in darkness. And here, Noor is not a metaphorical. It is literally Noor. Allah himself is a Noor. So Allah is Noor. Muhammad is Noor. Ali is Noor. Fatima is Noor. Hassan, Hussein are Noor. And this is the family of Muhammad and his granddaughter. And all of them, they are made of light. If you ask the Shia, what is the proof that Muhammad is made of light? They will say to you, in the Quran <clears throat> 
chapter 33 verse number 46 says wa da'in ila munira chapter 33 verse number 46 translation you can choose any one you want Allah speaking about Muhammad saying O Prophet Lu we have sent thee as a witness and the bringer of good thing tithing and a warner and a summoner into Allah by his permission and as a lamp that gives light the Shia they say see see he is the light who give or he is the lamp who give light it's the Quran now here we ask ourselves a very simple question if Allah is the one who spoke and he is the one who said what is being said there how God can say such a thing Any Muslim can explain how Allah He said that Muhammad is the light for the world. Who is the Muslim want to explain to me? Don't you see there's something wrong there? Anyone? How Muhammad can be the light of the world? I mean, what, is, what does that mean? If Muhammad is a man, the Muslim, they say to us, Muhammad is just a normal man like everybody. We don't worship Muhammad. This is what they say. But Allah in the Quran says that Muhammad is the light for the lamp. Why Muhammad is the lamp for the world? Who is the Muslim when explain to me how this happened? Muhammad is the light for the world, but he still, he killed he rape, he's a child molester, he cheat in his wife, he take false oath, he's a criminal, and he is the light for the world. I see the light in Afghanistan. You see, when you say, when the Quran, like, if I give my own translation, the Muslim, they will say his line. It doesn't say that. Look what the Quran said. And as a lamp. This is their translation. I didn't say I agree. Just wait. A lamp. You know what lamp mean? You see, when somebody is a lamp, when we say he is the lamp, That means he is the source of light. There is videos on YouTube about scientific miracles in the Quran. Just to get you the Abdul busted with their lies. When they, you know, the Muslims they make those miracles, but by doing them, by making them, they expose Islam actually. Let me close some applications. Very close. All right. If you go in the Quran, or if you go on YouTube, you search for Allah speak about the light of the sun and the moon as a reflection of the light this is what they say in the miracle you know you, have, you can you can watch it in YouTube okay based on what let me search for it hold on um, moon reflection Quran miracle I will find it for you. All right. All those here is speaking about how the Quran speak about the the sun as a shining light and the moon 
is a reflect I mean the Quran says that but they say yes and they use their own translation to prove to you such a thing Quranic science or science sunlight versus moonlight all right science huh all right if you go down here it says nature of light the light and the Quran blah 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 okay here we go and then here they go here it is he who made the Sun to be shining glory Dia and the moon to be Noor okay hold on just to show you how Muslims they are hypocrite and they are liars they are saying to you that the word Noor is a reflection light this is not me this is a Muslim website you see the website is about Islam about Islam.net the word Noor is what is the reflection light the word Diya is the shining glory is the lamp okay and then they quote for you different verse they say and made the moon a light nur and he made the light the lamp siraj okay hold on the reason i'm showing you the muslim translation just to show you how stupid what you just said they just admitted that muhammad is god in the same time, they just admitted that Allah is nothing but a reflection of Muhammad. Why? I hope you guys are taking notes with me. And I hope later I will see some of you downloading the videos and saving those parts. Let us take a note. The word Noor is reflection light. The word Noor is reflection night light and the word dia is the lamp according to them not according to me read with me carefully here if we go down a little bit it says blessed is he who made consultation in the skies consultations what is that and place there in lamp siraj and a moon giving light munir giving light it's their translation i did not say anything muslim don't cry don't uh, don't throw rocks at me we continue if we go down in the article the article is explaining more what light what siraj mean and what diya mean go down why were different arabic terms used to describe each light source in addition why it is only the sun and not the moon is described as Siraj or a lamp. Why? Muslims asking a question. And you know, when a Muslim he gets smart, I mean he 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 break the he break all rules. This is a Muslim, he's getting smart. So why Allah in the Quran he described two different light with two Arabic words, they are not the same. Why he called the sun Siraj, but he did not call the moon Siraj? Conclusion, there were two types of light source, direct source like the sun and lamps, indirect source like the moon and the planets, which uh, 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 dr drive their light from other source. So now the Muslim trying to make you believe that the Quran, because this is God, he knows everything. He knew that the moon is not the source of, sun, of light. It's just a reflection of light. So he used the word Siraj for the, for, for the sun. He used the word Noor for 
the moon because it's a reflected reflection, right? I mean, it's obvious. But look how stupid that statement is. Just the verse before that, the one we were talking about, Muhammad, do you remember what we were, we were reading there? We were reading the Quran describing one thing as Nur and Siraj in the same time. Remember, the Muslim are the one who said, Nur is a reflection. Siraj is the lamp. And this is why Allah, because he's so smart, he speaks Arabic very well, he described the moon as Nur, he described the sun as Siraj. But if we go in this verse here, it says that Muhammad is a lamp, which means a Siraj, and he's a light in the same time. <laughs> To make it simple for you, the word here, light, is nur. The word here, here, is nur. Right, let's make it in red. This word here is nur. Okay, and this word here is a Siraj. Do you understand what happened? What's happening here? In that statement, in that article, they say Siraj and Noor didn't match because Siraj is a lamp, Noor is reflection. But this is not reflection. Is the nur of Muhammad reflection of the Siraj when he is the Siraj? The Quran says he is a Siraj and he is a nur. So how he is a reflection and he is the Siraj in the same time. But they say to us that the word Siraj used for the sun because it's a source of light. And the word nur is used because it's a reflection. Guys, do you understand what I'm saying or I made it complicated? Do you understand what I'm saying or it became complicated for you? I'm using the, 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 the explanation in that article about the, the word Noor and the word Siraj. If we go here in the Arabic, for the Arabic verse, let us switch to, to the Arabic. This is the Arabic. It says, "Wada'iyan ila Allahi bi iznihi wa sirajan munira." You see, in the article, they say the word "munir." This is "munir." This is "munir." The same word appear in that article. Munir. We can type it with I, E, doesn't matter. And this is the word Siraj. Here. Okay. So Muhammad is Munir and Siraj in the same time. But remember, in that stupid article, the Muslims Abdul, they said that Siraj is a source of light, Munir is a reflection of light. Are we getting now the scam? Anyone get the scam yet or not yet? If Muhammad is both in the same time, that means there's a mistake in the Quran. Because how he is a lamp, which is Siraj, and he is a reflection in the same time. If the word Siraj means source of light, and the word Munir is a reflection of light. <laughs> you know, those articles are the most stupid articles ever. And the one who wrote them, obviously, he did not take a shower for 10 years. And he was busy killing fleas in his head during the time he wrote the articles. And mostly, 
most of the ink was dropping and the article was coming from the butt of the fleas. Additional to that, just to get the Abdul busted, the Quran says that Allah is Noor. Allah is Noor. So how the word Noor mere reflection of light if Allah himself is Noor? And now we have a problem because of this article. The Muslim, they said, by claiming that the word Siraj, which I agree with them, by the way, the word Siraj is a lamp. But by claiming that when Allah, he said the word Siraj, he's making definition between source and reflection. If this is the case, then Muhammad, Muhammad is the source and he is the reflection in the same time. And that's mean Allah is not the source of anything. Muhammad is the lamp. And Munir, according to them, present the reflection of a light, not a source of light. So Muhammad is the lamp who reflect light. How he is Siraj, who is a source, and he reflect in the same time. There's a contradiction. However, the Quran says, Allah is the Noor of the earth and the heaven. By the Muslim saying that the word Munir and Noor mean reflection, that means Allah Himself is not the source of any light, He is a reflection too. And by saying that Muhammad is Siraj and Siraj is the source of light, that means Muhammad is, is God and Allah is nothing but a reflection. He is the same as the moon. Read carefully with me. There are two types of light source, direct source, the sun like a lamp, and indirect source, like moon plants, which deliver their lights from the source in more than one verse. Allah SD, SWT described the sun as a lamp because both the sun and lamp share the property of being direct source of light. Arabic language is a, uh, therefore an Arabic language, therefore more exact in using two words terms, two, two different terms. Noor, Noor, hold on, Noor and Dia, Noor and Dia, that also have same meaning in other languages are actually different terms if of what source light they refer. The Quran also described the sun as Siraj, meaning glowing or a flaming lamp, or to show how sun luminous and bring with a flame. Again, this is so like this is scientific, blah 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 blah. Allah is WT is Noor. Allah Himself is a Noor. Prophet, peace upon him, is Siraj. <laughs> Many atheists, Islamophobes, reach hard, search, reach hard to refute the authority, uh, uh, the authority of the Quran. One such a refutation question: Why the Quran does not explicitly state that the moon is light reflect? Another argument, and perhaps uh, the most uh, etc. refer is that Quran state that Allah is Noor, and that that Muhammad is Siraj. See, as we said, we show it to you. They claim that this is meaning that the Prophet is the source of light, and Allah. Maybe those guys are answering me, by the way. And Allah is WT is only reflector. Okay, but this is based on an article. Let us see what they will say. Such an argument might be valid if the book being discussed is a science book, textbook. Look how in the guys, a second ago, they were talking about science. Do you see the hypocrisy? The same words, when they want, it's about science. When they want, it's not about science. 
this this argument is valid if the book is being discussed is a scientist a science book so why you are the one is saying that Allah the discovery of science aren't you the one saying here just the two line before that this is discovery of science do you see it who is the one who brought this argument to make it about science isn't it you do you see the hypocrisy when they want this is scientific words when they want it is not scientific words the same exact words however for me i don't really care for the scientific thing because anyway it's a it's a scam and we we get it debunk easy the god of islam actually is very stupid god and we prove him to be stupid in a very simple verse in the quran that he do not know what is the moon about and what is the sun is about as an example muhammad he said in the quran that the late the, the night and the day they run and the moon and the sun Let me show you. There's no God. He can be in any way, like have a little bit of knowledge. He will say such a thing. This is very stupid. Actually, every verse I see in front of me, I have a mistake. But I want to show you uh, uh, something very clear and very, very easy. Uh, you know, to understand. Which one I will choose? All right. Read with me this one. Chapter 21, verse number 33. 2133 I'm going to read the Muslim translation and he it is who created the night and the day anyone notice what is the first scientific error in this phrase what is the say the first scientific error who want to tell me Anyone notice? What is the first scientific error in this sentence? He created the night. How you can create the night? The darkness is the absence of light. You do not need to create it. It already exists. It's actually darkness is nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Darkness does not even exist. I mean. This is what we see, I mean, as, as a vision, but in reality, there's nothing that's called darkness. I mean, what darkness? There's something that's called light. How you create darkness? That is the first mistake. Then he continued. And the sun and the moon, and they, all of them, they float, each in an orbit. The Muslim, they say, this is scientific miracle. Allah saying they float in an orbit. But look what Allah has spoken about. In Arabic it says, which the Muslim word they don't translate, Kullun fi falakin yasbahun. Kullun mean each. Each. What Allah he counted now? Allah he count four items, supposedly. The one is talking, remember Allah. Item number one is the night. Item number two is the day. And item number three is the sun. Item number four is the moon. And then he says, each, they swim in a ship. Not orbit, by the way. It's a ship. And this is what the, uh, the Sabi and they used to believe. 
this is why actually all all days you will see that uh, people they believe that uh, stars they have a ship you know i don't know if you saw those the old artists for uh, those uh, they do uh, read the future and they read your you know what will happen to you tomorrow so every star is in a ship and the quran claim that all those four they run in a ship they swim actually the word in arabic yes bahoon mean swim they swim literally swim all right if you go to the english translation let us change the translator read carefully with me and he it is who has created the night that day the sun the moon and each floating in a boat anyone notice the mistake what is the mistake here Additional for the first one where it says Allah created the night or the darkness. Where is the mistake here? Who noticed? What is exactly? Yeah, then day and the night, you see? The, the, the here there is a problem the Quran added the day and the night they are swimming the same as the moon and the Sun in different verse Muhammad he said claiming that this is God told him the following Uh, see I'm getting old I'm trying to remember the, the, the verse <laughs> see what happened to you uh, okay mm. what the verse man it, it was in a second in my mouth unbelievable I just switched to the website and now I which which verse? Which the verse? What verse? Hmm. Okay. Here we go. Chapter thirty-six, verse number forty. لا الشمس ينبغي لها أن تدرك القمر ولا الليل سابق النهار. وَكُلٌّ فِي فَلَكٍ يَسْبَحُونَ Again, the, the Edith Muhammad is repeating the same mistake. Look what it says here. Chapter 36, verse number 40. It is not for the sun to overtake the moon. Actually, overtake is not really a correct translation. Tablur, it's meant to reach. It's not, it's not for the, the sun to reach the the moon they are they cannot reach and what does that mean you know what does that mean exactly he's talking about the day and the night listen carefully nor does the night outstrip the day they float each in they swim each in a ship okay so what the quran again insists that the sun and the moon the day and the night each one of them is a swimming and they will never meet anyone here can tell me what is the mistake how many mistakes here anyone only stupid ones who believe in such a garbage because the, in fact, when we have night, we have day in the same time. What do you mean we don't? They don't. Uh, they don't uh, reach each other. 
and what we explain and what we say about what it's called the eclipse isn't it in the middle of the day suddenly we have night how this happened because the moon reached the the, the, the darkness reached the, the, the day <laughs> you know what I mean we can have day and night in the same time we can Allah he says you cannot why because the Sun is a floating and the moon is a floating and they will never reach each other and and the moon and the night and the, and the Sun and the day and the night they will never outstrip each other but for sure this is a stupid mistake <clears throat> because we know that we have day when we have night in the same time or what happened Muhammad you do not know that when we have daytime in Australia we have night time in different place in the same earth he thought because he's a false prophet speaking that God told him that the earth have night and when there's night there's no day If you go in the Bible, when Jesus speak about the judgment day, you will see Jesus speaking about when somebody is in the field working and someone else in how in his house is sleeping. But how somebody in sleeping and somebody in the field working, in the field this is a farmer. At home sleeping, that's night time. Because he's speaking about the different of the time. Where while people they are asleep, there's people they are in the field in the farm. Here, the Quran believe that they take over, night disappear, because it's taking different ship. Night come, the moon go. To explain this more, just to show you how Muhammad is a stupid. If we go in the Hadith, because the Muslim, they might say you are just making a, you know, I mean, trying to explain it the way you like what about we see Muhammad explaining the verse to understand do the Sun goes really yes the Sun goes Muhammad he asked one of his companion do you know where the Sun goes do you know Read with me carefully. Because Muslim, they might say, he is fabricating the meaning. It does not mean that. Remember with me here, it says in the front of us, chapter 36, verse number 8. Do you see it? It is the Muslim's translation. This is number one. The Hadith is even giving us, he's talking about what verse exactly in the Quran. So we have no no issue. I mean, this is your prophet. This is your translation. This is your Muslim website. And this is the Hadith number. Sahih al-Bukhari, book number 60, Hadith number 326. I hope it's clear to you. Narrated by Abu Dhar. Once I was with the prophet in the mosque at the time of the sunset. So take a note, it was the sunset time. The prophet said, O oh Abu Dhar, do you know where the sun set? I replied, Allah and his messengers and his apostle knows best. And you see here, the Muslim, they say that the Christians, they do shirk because they, they share the name of God with the name of Jesus. But the Muslim they do that all the time. For us, Jesus is God. So we are not Mushrikeen. We worship one God, and that is our Lord. It is you who is Mushrik. Because now you associate the name of Muhammad with the name of Allah, and you associate the knowledge of God with the knowledge of Muhammad. Allah and his apostles knows best. Who knows best? Allah and his apostles. That's it. Nobody knows best except two, not only one. Then Muhammad did not say to him, don't say my name, don't say that, say Allah knows only. No, Muhammad don't, uh, he have, he is, actually Muhammad is asking this question, he want to hear this. He want to hear this part where the Muslim, they say to him, Allah and his apostle know better, or knows best. Muhammad, he said, 
it goes and prostrate underneath the throne. And that is Allah statement. And then he read the Quran for him and the sun runs in its fixed course. Hmm? Guys, if, if if somebody have a question, you don't understand of something what I, I said, tell me. Hello? Hey, Christian Prince, how are you? I'm fine, my friend. How is everything with you? Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. I thought because Muslims uh, are not calling and we are out of Muslims, let me try my luck today sure, with sure. you. No problem. Go ahead. <laughs> how are you, bro? I'm fine. What do you want to share yeah. with me? Yeah, um, isn't this hadith, isn't this a contradiction uh, with uh, the Quran? Because clearly the Quran uh, says something else. It says that uh, the sun goes uh, in a muddy spring, right? Isn't that a contradiction? No, actually no. Because you have to connect the dots together. Because the Quran it says uh, says that, and the hadith says too, that uh, the, the sun goes and sits under the throne of Allah, and the throne of Allah over the water. <laughs> you know, okay, I mean, if you, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. because obviously Muhammad believed that there is Allah, He have a throne. You know, you see what Muhammad is doing, he is a thief in the Bible. It says that when God created the universe, what was there was he created the earth, it, uh, the earth was covered by water, right? Yeah, okay, and then God is above the water, He's above the, 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 the this earth. So, Muhammad, he copied that. So, we have water. And we have God, he is the spirit of God is above the water. So Muhammad he wanted to make the same story, but he had to do some change. So now he come with some mix of legions that there is a son found by Alexander the Great, sitting in a murky water. Allah chair is above the water, and the sun goes every day and prostrate itself, sleeping in the muddy water, and Allah in the top of it, and then Allah. And he's trying to explain why the sun disappearing and that is very uh, uh, logical to understand at that time because if you go right now if we go to the beach and you notice the sun is going down you would think the sun is going inside the ocean correct yes okay this is this is the normal be, be like a, a, a normal behavior from a human being to believe in in the old days because they see every day whoever live, live close to the, be, uh, to the beach he will see the sun coming down and going inside the water and even the water getting red okay but what are you going to do with uh, the mud because it says a muddy spring well this is the reason it's called muddy because obviously that area is muddy this is why it, it turned red <laughs> you know what i mean not only muddy it is hot too because hamia is not only muddy it is boiling it's hot yes yeah. boiling so yes. so because the sun is hot and it's going down in that water and that water, the color changed and became muddy because it boiled, and because of the sun is inside it, is going to mix between the water and the mud. So Muhammad, if you go in the hadith here, let us see, let, let, let us see the, the hadith, the same hadith I mentioned to you, which is proving that there is no contradiction. Both of them prove that Muhammad is a is a liar. You know? Yeah, of course. Let's see. Do you see the hadith? Here we go. Yeah. I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah, SWS, this is like a PhD, who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting. He asked, Do you know where this set? You see, he did not say where this, you know, what's happening here. He said, Where it's set. You see the word set? Yes. Okay. I replied, Allah and his apostles knows best, as usual. He sure. said, <laughs> he said, it's set in a spring of warm water. This is the Muslim translation. It doesn't say warm. It says uh, hot. Warm hamia. Now. Yeah, exactly. Now, this is not a contradiction, as you see, because the Quran confirmed that. And the Muslim, they tried to, to, uh, to say to you uh, about uh, the, the verse in the Quran, that this is how he thought the sun goes the guy that no it's allah it's yeah. allah saying but that i mean the most yeah. they try to defend they say 
it is Zul Qurnain, he thought that the sun sitting in a in, in the murky water. Yes, but it's not actually not Zul Qurnain, it's Allah saying that. Yeah, because the one is talking is Allah, it's not it's not Zul yeah. Qurnain. It is Allah exactly. reporting because the, 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 the verse says there, they are asking thee about Zul Qurnain. I will tell you some of his story. The one is talking, yes. he is the one is telling what happened to him, and it's, it's he's reporting what he found, and he found it sitting in the murky water. So, the so yeah, cl yeah. yeah, yeah, clearly Allah is, is not all knowing because he doesn't know where the sun sits. <laughs> Allah is not all knowing, Muhammad is not all knowing, nobody is all knowing, the Muslim do not know, Allah knows best, and Muhammad knows best. And shut up, don't ask me questions. That the whole story in Islam, you know. <laughs> Chapter five, yeah, yeah, yeah. chapter five, verse one hundred one. Ask no questions. Ask no questions. Well, we Christians, uh, we are different, right? We like to ask a lot of questions. So, uh, we, uh, we know, we are, we we seek the truth, and we are about the knowledge, right? So I have a different question. If we go uh, to chapter four, uh, hmm. CP, chapter four, ayah one five seven. Okay. Mia sabaw hamsin. One five seven. It says, indeed, we have killed the Messiah. So the Jews here are talking, right? Indeed, we have killed the Messiah, hmm. Jesus, the son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. And they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him. Question number one. If we go to the Bible, we, we know that the Romans killed Jesus, not the Jews. So how is it possible that the Quran is saying that the Jews killed Jesus? That's problem number one. Problem number two is, and it says the ayah says clearly, and they did not kill him, and not uh, they did not crucify him. But here is another problem. Problem number two is, how is it possible if we go to the historical facts that we see that the Romans they never put dead people on the cross, they crucify people, and because of this severe punishment, the people die, and normally they die after couple days right not uh, like jesus it's a miracle of course that he died within uh, a couple hours but so we have two problems here the jews never killed jesus it, it was the romans it was a punishment by the romans the jews were not allowed to kill jesus and problem number two is it clearly says they did not kill him and they did not crucify him so according to the quran they put a dead jesus on the on the cross so what's your opinion about that uh, christian prince Actually, I read the verse differently from the way you are reading it, and I will tell you why. If we go okay. here, it says, وَقَوْلَهُمْ إِنَّا قَتَلْنَا الْمَسِيحُ عِيسَى بْنُ مَرْيَمْ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ وَمَا صَلَبُوهُ وَلَكِنْ شُبِّهَ لَهُمْ Here there is yes. something you need to acknowledge, that the verse confirmed the crucifixion. It does not deny it, actually, and I will tell you why. Okay, go ahead. Uh, when, when, when they say, that it was made to appear to them. What does that mean? Yeah, as if they saw it, right? right. Because uh, you, you had, for, for example, John, uh, uh, the, the Gospel of John, who wrote the Gospel of John, uh, and al Habib, hmm. uh, and Mary was there. So it appeared to them. So they knew Jesus, right? So they saw him. So it does not say that it's it didn't happen. Yeah. So that means the, the the Quran, when it says they did not crucify him, but it was made to appear to them, he confirmed the crucifixion. Or what he is saying, that there is someone in the cross was not Jesus. Yeah. Okay. That's mean. That's mean the Christians are saying the truth, and Allah is a liar. Why? Because if I witness for what I saw, how I can be a liar? Yeah, exactly. If and this, and is, this is yeah. If this is how he made me see, and this is what appeared to me. So the Christians, yeah. when they wrote that Jesus was crucified, they are not lying. The Quran confirmed that they are seeing the truth. Yes. According to their vision. And you know, witness are people those are eyewitness. You can yeah. you cannot blame somebody for telling what he saw. That you are alive, yeah, you know? else you will get uh, Allahu Khairul Makarin, right? Yeah. So Allah is the so, best of the so, series. <laughs> so the story here is very stupid because this is confirmed that the Christian Bible is accurate. Jesus was crucified. All what it says here that Allah was playing games. He made someone look like Jesus. They killed Jesus, but in fact, it's not Jesus. But he looked like Jesus. They thought it's Jesus. They crucified Jesus. They 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 they, they buried Jesus. But this is what someone else looked exactly like Jesus. Now, yeah, and, and yeah, what and what about fault, uh, what is my yeah. fault then to believe that Jesus was crucified? If he is the one, if you ask the Muslim who is the one made appear to us like this, he will say Allah. 
And and CP, what about uh, didn't Allah uh, had any better plans than to make this uh, big uh, a problem? I mean, what plan? I mean this there are plan. this is a disaster yeah. because it's not a plan. First of yeah. all, you see, in, in Islam, you are deceiving like, three billion Christians, right, by this, doing this. <laughs> the, the idea of a cloning, the idea of a cloning, it's a yeah. very dangerous idea because simply now, who? Uh, maybe Muhammad is uh, uh, Muhammad. He said that there is a shaitan. His name is Al Abiyad. He cloned Jibril and he came to him. Okay, so so Allah can do cloning, make someone look like Jesus. Shaitan he can clone Jibril. So now I cannot believe in anyone because anyone can be cloning anyone. Yeah. What if Jibril, exactly. what, what if Shaitan he cloned Jesus and come to us? As long as Shaitan can clone, Allah can clone. So how we will know that Muhammad himself is not a clone? Exactly. Exactly. Maybe but again, maybe Muhammad yeah. is not a real Muhammad. Maybe this is a clone of somebody. Yeah. Maybe Isa is a clone of somebody. Maybe Mary is a clone of somebody. Mary, maybe Musa is a clone of somebody. You know, so the second we start going in this, uh, the idea of believing in a clone, and that is that is a very stupid idea, and that will make people uh, uh, lose their mind and they will lose their faith too. So here, Muhammad is coming with a story based in a in a in a, in a, in, a, uh, in in books which is rejected by the Christians that it was made to appear to them. It doesn't mean made to appear to them like those Christians in the old days They were saying how Jesus is son of God. He will be there Some of them they said it must be it made he, he look this is his flesh But it, God himself will not be crucified. This is what they meant that the, the what, what they crucified there It was the flesh of Jesus, but God himself cannot be killed. So yes. Muhammad he took that that literally and he said oh it was made to appear to them in the cross, but this is cannot be Jesus. But those Christians who believe in that, they believe because Jesus is Son of God, and there's no way God will let His Son to be tortured. And this yes, is, exactly. This, this is rejected by the majority of the Christians. This is just a, a small cult believe in that. But Muhammad he mm. liked the idea, and this is the idea of the Nasara. He liked the idea, and he made it as it was made to appear to them. So we saw him in the cross, but it was not him in the cross. It was a body, look like like the body of Jesus. Yeah. Muhammad, he took it, he put in the Quran. Yeah, you know, CP, I understand your uh, point of view about this uh, ayah, ayah 157, but still, if we're going to read it literally, I agree with you, bro, uh, bro about your opinion, but uh, still, I have a historical problem with this ayah because the Jews did not kill Jesus. And the Romans, and if we are going to say it's the Romans, the Romans still, they don't put dead people on the cross. The, the people are alive on the cross and they die after a couple days because of this severe punishment, right? No, so either Jesus, way, he this... Was, he was hit by the spear in his chest and he died, you know, that will, will make his death this faster. You know? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. no, no, let, let, me, let me tell you again why I do not agree with you. Muhammad is trying to be a person who copy from the Bible. Isn't it in the Bible the Jews, they said his blood in our hand? Yeah. Okay. And in our children's, Muhammad is saying that exactly here. They said we killed Jesus the Christ. The mistake here, Muhammad, he said that they said we killed the Jesus, the Christ. That is the mistake. That is stupid of him because the Jews they will never say that we killed the Christ. They will say we killed Jesus. Yeah. Because the second they say we killed the Christ, that means they killed the Christ. They are waiting for. Yeah. The Jews they are waiting for a Christ until now. They believe he did not come yet. <laughs> so so how they say we kill Jesus the Christ when a Christ is what they are waiting for and they believe that this person is not the Christ That is the first stupid mistake. The second mistake. They said he is the messenger of Allah, but the Jews don't believe in Allah anyway Yes, number three they killed him not nor crucified him But it was made to appear to them. Okay, they killed him not not nor crucify him So he confirmed that there's two things did not happen in the same time he confirmed that there's two things happen crucifixion and killing Yep, the killing what he said it made to appear to them and here here the question will be about the Quran uh, This is why the Quran is a stupid book. Okay, let's say I don't have a book. It's called hadith uh, We have a Muslim is calling. Can I take the Muslim, please? Yeah, sure. Sure. Go ahead. Hello 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 are you going to talk? I will hang up. All right. 
uh, anyway, this is will take us away from our topic. By the way, I want to go back to the Trinity, and one of you asked me a question about the the theory of the Noor. The theory we spoke about about the Noor, that he did not understand that what we are talking about here. Okay, let us make it simple. In this article, the Muslims they try to explain to us science in the Quran. Quran signs sunlight versus moonlight. Okay. Here you will see scientific miracles in the Quran, revealing that it contains facts, etc., which is about science. So, what the Muslim trying to say that in the Quran we will find facts about science. And what is the story today? It is about the light of the sun and the light of the moon. Then they go here down and they find verses in the Quran. One is using the word to describe the light of the, the sun as Siraj. Please, the person who asking the question, listen carefully. The word they try to use here, they say, as you, if you read with me, chapter 10, verse number 5, it is he who made the sun to be shining glory, Dhiya. So this is the word, means shining glory, Dhiya. And then the moon to be light, Nur. So what is the word light? Nur. Later they will say to us that the word Nur means reflection. The word dia mean glow, glowing, like you know, like the sun glowing, and made the moon. This is a different verse, seventy one sixteen, a light, and here they put between two brackets the word Arabic word nur, in their midst, and made the sun a glorious lamp. The word here is siraj. Okay, so now take a note. Please, if you if you to, to follow with me, the one who don't understand, take a note. The word Siraj is a lamp, glorious lamp. Who is the one saying that? The Muslims. The word Noor is about the reflected light. Down there, they will explain to us. Chapter Al Furqan. It says here, Blessed is he who made consultation in the sky and placed therein a lamp, and the word again is Siraj, and the moon giving light, Munir. Okay. So now we have the word Munir, which is the same as Noor, and the word Siraj, which is a lamp. Are you guys following with me? So if we make, uh, maybe I need to open Microsoft document. Give me a second. The problem is that because you don't speak Arabic, so it's going to take you a little bit of time uh, to follow up with me. Give me a second, please. <clears throat> I will open Microsoft document and I will make a, a table. All right. So here hmm. Let us make a draw a table.
all right I am going to copy from that website the word they gave us exactly as it is glorious lamp is Siraj this is for the Sun used for the Sun The other one is Munir. And that is used for the moon. And I'm copying it as it is. Moon giving light. It is Munir. Are you there, the one who asked me the question? I hope you are listening. All right. If we go back to the Quran, we're speaking about Muhammad. And remember here, the Muslim, they use this to prove what they call scientific fact, that the Quran described the sunlight as Siraj and described the moon light as Munir. Do you see it? Munir. This is for the moon, which means reflected light. So they're trying to prove to you that the Quran presents science for how the Quran, why the Quran is using two different words and they have, you know, different, obviously, meaning based on their interpretation. So this is obviously is a scientific fact. And we made a glowing lamp, Siraj, chapter 78, verse number 13. So they are giving you examples. And now here. And they are saying there, uh, However, the Quran never used both terms, which mean two words for the same thing. Here we should wonder if both light were identical in nature. Why were different Arabic terms used to describe each light source? Why? In addition, it is the only, only the sun and not the moon is described as siraj or lamp. All right? Only the sun. So, what the Muslim trying to make it clear for us, the word Siraj is specifically is trying to tell us that the nature of the light of the moon, that it is a sorry of the of the sun, it's a it's a source of light. The word Munir is about it is a reflection of light. So now I think this part is clear, right? Now, if we go to the verse, different verse, where the Quran said. <clears throat> In chapter 33, verse number 46. This is the Muslim translation. As a lamp spreading light. But in Arabic, in Arabic, the story is different. In Arabic, it says Muniran. Muniran. This is exactly the same word is used here. Do you see it? Exactly the same word. In the verse which the Muslim they say, moon giving light. If we type in the Quran the word Muni. Hello? Assalamu alaikum. How are you? Wa alaikum. I'm fine. Go ahead. We we hear you. Who is with me? Uh, um, I'm Alam Khan from uh, Pakistan. Welcome, Mister Alam. What do you want to say with us? What do you want to share with us? I love to hear you many times. I love uh, I hear you many times, and I love you too much, my brother. Thank you, my you friend. You open my eyes. You you open my eyes, right? Uh, so you you are me, you are you are a Muslim. Uh, I consider myself a Muslim, but I'm not sure that I can be a Muslim anymore. All right. Well, I'm, I'm, ha I'm happy to hear that. I, I was expecting a Muslim to call me to debate with me, but it looked like I have no luck. <laughs> I, I, I can't debate with you. You have more knowledge than me, and I love to hear you many, many times, and I love to hear you forever. Well, my friend, I'm, I'm happy to hear that uh, you enjoy it.
you you are the person who open open my eyes but but i am living in pakistan uh, i cannot announce that uh, uh, i want to be a christian because you know very well about my country yeah. and uh, the 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 uh, the, the uh, what should i say about uh, i will i lose my life you know i know i know i understand yeah. i said something well i, you know, I understand uh, it is but, my uh, uh, you know, I, I wish you the best, my friend. Just be sure that, uh, mm. you know, people, they can take our life, but they cannot take our uh, our our future with God, you know. Uh, what yeah. is the benefit of somebody when the whole world and he lose himself? So, mm. you know, th they are ignorant. They are, you know, the Bible says that time will mm. time will come and people, they will think by killing you, they are doing a favor to God. And mm -hmm. this, this is always from Satan because, uh, you know, how you can do favor to God by killing someone, I mean, Especially if it's just, uh, let us say somebody is wrong. So, let us say somebody is wrong in his belief. Can, can, can I say something? Different. Sure, go ahead. Can I say something? Uh, it is my request from your platform, from your channel, that a Muslim should listen to you carefully and without any uh, any aggressiveness. They must listen to you carefully and with uh, uh, with open mind, right? They must they must search their book, their their holy book. They must read their holy book. But with the translation, they are just reading Arabic in Arabic language. Basically, I, I'm uh, from Pakistan. I, I know Urdu very well. I can speak Urdu very well. So uh, because of you, uh, I opened my book and I, I read it in uh, Urdu language. And uh, because of you, uh, thank you very much, my, my brother. You're welcome. You opened my eyes. Okay. You opened my heart. You opened my mind. Right. Uh, and God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless. Thank you. And I wish you the best. Let what me know if, if you have any question what, to help you with. I will be happy to what, answer you. What should I do for you, my dear? Don't do anything, my friend. <laughs> I, at least I can pray for you. I can pray for you. Well, I, I appreciate all the prayer of everybody. You know, the, the, there's many people they pray against me, but I, I don't care for their prayers for sure. I will. I will. Uh, I would like to hear you know our people to to pray, and we pray for everybody. We pray. I will pray for you too. So thank you for calling. I'm so happy to hear you. I, I love to love to talk to you, and uh, God bless you. Uh, and what about your family, uh, brother? What about your family? Is your family like uh, still uh, Muslims? No, they 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 are very um, uh, they are very uh, true Muslims, and uh, I'm a married person. Uh, I talked to my wife uh, about. Uh, topic of uh, Aisha, uh, the topic of orphans, right, and the topic of uh, sun <laughs> go, go down in muds, mm. right, mm -hmm. but but even she's educated, but uh, what should I say about her, uh, she's not listening to me carefully. Well, uh, right? let, let you uh, try to make your family listen to me, and maybe they can even call me, tell them to call him, like call this guy and prove to me that uh, he's wrong, and then uh, mm -hmm. know, I will agree with you. Let, let, them, let they, them. They, they, let's see if they can. If they can. Uh, they, they are not. They are not. They are not very open-minded people like me, right? Mm -hmm. They are not a good listener. They are just a good speaker. You know, yeah. one must be a good listener, then he can be a good speaker. Yeah. Well, it is my word that one must be a good good listener, then he can be a good speaker. So, in my point of view, my family members are not a good listener. They are just a good speaker. <laughs> no, I don't think even they can. You know what I mean. Because in order to say to, to, to speak good, you have to learn mm. about what is good and what is wrong. You cannot speak good yes. when you don't yeah. you don't know what is good, you know. And I don't see it anything is because in Islam. You know, like uh, you see, even the Muslim when they speak, like in Islam, we uh, Quran he order us to uh, uh, do uh, charity as an example. The charity in, in Islam is it, it, it loses its meaning because the charity in Islam is just about you being selfish. You do charity, you so your sin will be forgiven, correct? No, 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 not, not. This the, what, this the God what, don't need charity. God, yeah, God no, don't no, need no, God. I'm saying, I'm God. saying, yeah. I'm saying this is what the this, oh, this okay. is the charity in Islam is. It's it's not because you're good. Mm. It's because you're selfish. Mm. You know, you're trying. Yeah. You're trying to bribe God. You go to the Kaaba. <laughs> well, you do hajj. You, you do black. I, you kiss the black I, stone, and then the second day you commit sin and you do more sin. I I don't want to kiss the black stone. Right, it's a yeah, pagan. Yeah. It's a pagan habit. Yeah, obviously. It's a. It's the Kaaba a, is a, is yeah. a. Everything in Islam is pagan because Islam is based, yes, based, based on what? Go kissing a stone, going around the stones, bowing yeah. in front of stones, and throwing stones. Last last uh, last week, I I was listening to the, the debate of uh, David Wood and uh, uh, Sam Shamoon. 
uh, they they mentioned that uh, alif lam mim mim means al uzza la tan manat so i was shocked alif, alif lam mim ah. means al uzza la tan manat they were the idol in kaaba kaaba hmm. before the prophet of islam okay it is basically haruf e muqattaat muqattaat means alif lam mim right hmm. david wood and sam shamoons discuss it and they said that alif lam mim means al uzza lat manat hmm. it's a well, pagan god name uh, you know, and it is, it is it is in quran yeah i don't know what uh, what, or what they are basing their uh, uh, their idea of i would like to hear it but um, uh you know for me i, I like i like to comment after i see what they said uh I, I think because, I, some because some I, have some a, i have a different understanding for those things i i, I listened to the lecture of sam shamoon and i think so sam shamoon mentioned it that alif lam mim means al uzza lat and manat well uh, it's possible everything is possible you know this religion yeah <laughs> this religion is a, is a case of is a case of delusion and uh, yeah. uh, everything is possible in that inside that box after listening many many scholar of uh, from you people christian people i'm i'm getting confused about my religion and i don't want to stay uh, anymore as as a muslim well obviously islam is, a, is, is, is islam is a stupid religion you know islam, you forget about uh, uh, who want to say to you uh, uh, you know i mean you do not need to be a christian this is your choice for me i yeah, yeah, would, exactly. would be happy to to uh, to help you to be uh, to accept the messiah but islam is yeah. stupid to be it's stupid to be a muslim this is how i see it it's stupid you know what can what kind of god i like let us say bring me all great example about muhammad which is absolutely a fabrication but however how i can believe in god he promised me women is for sex in heaven and they are created just for sex <laughs> i mean what kind of god Lust. god is you know? Lust. Yeah, I will go to Las Vegas. I will. I will buy a ticket tomorrow to Las Vegas. There's a lot of prostitute there, you know, and yeah. you can get what Allah will give you, and even better, you know. Uh, how? What kind of God? He promised me he will imp will bring me imported women from hell, <laughs> imported women <laughs> from hell. And why they are from hell? Because those are hookers, prostitutes who they are expert with sex. So Allah yes, will sign a contract with them, or let us say he will import mm -hmm. them unwillingly or willingly from hell mm. to serve in heaven this is additional to the whore this is different whore this is different women they are mm. women they are imported from people of uh, of hell they and, and they yeah. have nice breast and nice vagina i mean what kind of god is god you see i do not need to be genius to understand that this is stupid cult i mean this is this is can, can this I is say, stupid this is I disgusting this is funny can, yeah uh, my bro can i say something sure He, he's a very he's a very sexy god <laughs> he's a sex god not sexy you know nothing he's sexy about sex, this sexy and sex god yeah and right? in the same time uh, like uh, why you are describing to me that those women they have nice front you know they are des <laughs> desirable desirable front i mean what does that mean they have a nice that mean that nice vagina and nice, uh, nice and, uh, uh, this is not god talking oh, and what about uh, uh, little boys will serve me for eternity i mean this is disgusting i don't like it to to do it now why i want to like it yeah. imagine i have a little boy working as a servant yeah. for me in my house this is disgusting mm. you know child abuse in earth i know about yeah. it ex exists until now yes it is exist there's child molesters there's criminals but child abuse even in heaven god god is child abuse is something that they god is going to create a erotic appeal right allah is going to create a erotic appeal in the mind of a people that uh, i will provide you the last in in heaven right yeah what uh, kind of god he is uh, uh, what god, kind of god he is <laughs> and he and he promised me that my penis will never go limp i mean what is that i mean <laughs> what what penis what 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 kind of god we are talking about you know this is a he will have a uh, he will a, have a viagra this for, a, for, this for is people a, this is a talk show from sex company or sex corporation or you know sex toy uh, they look like we have a muslim calling hold on hello hello Yes. I uh, just want to talk about uh, your, your Bible. Your Bible contains a lot of. Uh, I, I don't hear you. Can you speak louder, please? I, I apologize I, I, for the other speaker from Pakistan. You can call me later, please. Let us take this uh, Muslim. What you are you saying? You hear me? I hear you now. What you? Are, you? Yeah. Speak louder, please. Okay. 
your your book is uh, full of uh, violence and okay. you uh, know the old testament it contains uh, hate and violence uh -huh. and? so how do you attack islam and misinterpret while this happens well first of all give me where i did misinterpret it for the quran and then we will go from there secondly my bible uh, uh, this is a clear evidence that this book is telling the truth because you just said this book speak about violence, right? But those people they live in violence, they die in violence, which means there's people they are attacking them and they attack people too. So there's a huge difference between somebody is teaching hate and teaching killing, and somebody is allowing people or a nation who they have a lot of enemies. The the Jews they've been enslaved twice during their history, the whole nation taken as a slave. So can those people go in war? Yeah, you can, yes, they can, because everybody in their time lived by the sword. But to say, to go and kill and rape women of somebody just because you don't agree that you're a prophet, that is a different story. It never happened. What never happened? Okay, do you speak, do you, do, you, do you know how to read Arabic? Yes. Okay, you, you said you know Arabic, right? Okay, good. I will show it to you on the screen. Do you accept? I don't uh, see the screen with. Okay, where are you from, uh, my friend? Which country are you from? Uh, Saudi. You are from Saudi Arabia. Speak to me in Saudi, please. Okay, my, 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 I ask you something. S uh, speak to me in Saudi. Me. Speak to me in Saudi. Can you speak yes, to me in I Saudi? You, Can you speak to me in Saudi? Shlona, I want you to ask you a simple question. You said you are from uh, Saudi. Can you speak uh, to me in one, Saudi language? Can you speak to me in Saudi? Can you speak to me in Saudi? I just. I don't want to. I want to speak English to everyone. So you don't speak I Saudi. Why you are saying you speak Saudi? In one, in one, some will fifteen. You are not. You are not. You, why you are lying? Why you said? Wait, wait, wait. You, I don't like liars. Said, why you said you speak Saudi? You in your Saudi. Bible, why in, you said you are Saudi? Bible, why you said you are Saudi Bible, when you are not? Kill, kill women and children. Yeah, those people. No, no problem. You, you keep ignoring this. Well, okay, ignoring. okay. Hold on, hold on. So are you? Uh, I'm, I'm willing to hear you. I want you to say whoever teach such a, such a thing is Satan. Are you going to say that? Whoever teaches is, of course, you. Of course. You, you okay. Both. What if I of show course. you that from the Quran? Well, yeah, what if I show you before I answer you about the Bible? Okay. You, you, said, you, said, you, said, you said. You said. You said. You said. You said. You said. Anyone who teach that is a Satan. Correct. Are you? Do you agree? Anyone teach to kill the children and women is Satan. Yes or no? Of course, who kills them innocently, who did nothing wrong, okay. is bad. All right, that's wonderful. So why the Quran said that Allah, he taught a prophet, his name is Al-Khadr, to kill him, chapter 18, verse number 74. He didn't teach him to, he said no. he... No, it says, it was for it says, it says that this is, this, is, this is a slave of Allah, his name is Al-Khadr, he's a prophet of Islam, Allah, he taught him wisdom, and he is the one who taught him to kill this child because he predicted that when he grow, he will be an infidel. But he was a child. No, for specific, for specific wisdom, he would, he would, he. This was an ID that the God was willing to show for a specific wisdom. Mm -hmm. You need but so to you can kill children then, but you, can, but you can't kill children. No. No, it doesn't kill. There's no verse. Let me give you a second. In front there's, of you, 1874. There is no verse in the Quran directly. I just said, said no, it says, no, 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 it, it, says, it, says, it says, Allah, he sent Musa to learn from this prophet. Musa, the prophet Musa himself is learning from him. And Musa was upset. No. He told him, why, Musa, he, okay. to he said to him, why you kill the child? He's innocent. Why you okay, kill the innocent child? Let's give each others a, a chance to uh, to reply to each uh -huh. others. Okay. Okay. I will. I'll start talking. Okay. Mm -hmm. This was for a specific wisdom to show to show to show that the uh, the, the the wisdom that Allah may take a a, chi a soul of a child, but there is no verse directly in the Quran says kill women and children. Like in the in the Old Testament, hmm. where in one Samuel fifteen says, "Kill women, children, ox, infant, sheep, and ass and donkeys." Okay, this is the, a very okay. Very hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, If we go there, if we go there, you will see that those people they did the same to them. So the Musa, the, the people of Musa, believe an eye for an eye. 
you killed us, we kill you. As simple as that. So those people, yes, they are this is not just and your prophet, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Your prophet, he accept the same idea and he teach the same thing that uh, the one who kill a woman kill his women. Is that true? What? The, the the prophet of Islam, because he is a crazy guy, he teach his followers that if you kill my women, I kill your women. Is that correct? If you show me, show me if you think okay. Chapter two, verse one seventy eight. Read it for me. Okay, I'll, I'll one two. second. So I search mm. chapter two, verse one seventy eight. <clears throat> one second. <clears throat> Take your time. Did you find it, my friend? One second, one second, as I approach, one second. Mm -hmm. I'll read it for you. Once, yeah, you had Ladina Amanu Kutiba Alikum Kasasu, Phil Katla, Al Horro Bil Hor, while Abdu Bil Abdu, while Unsa Bil Unsa. Tell me, what does that mean? I'm reading tafsir to make sure. That's one second. No, read the verse first and then read tafsir for me. What tafsir do you want to read? Which one? So I can open and read with you. What's happening? Why is it okay? So this 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 stuff this stuff is is is, is available also in 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 i and i tooth for tooth this mm -hmm. is a specific situation ah, in a, in so now you have no problem with killing women. no so now you have, have no problem a, we have a so problem so now you have no there problem with killing women. okay hold on no, hold on, no. hold on, hold on, hold on. Was, how this, you kill a woman for a woman how you kill a woman for a woman tell me this was for a specific a man, age. what specific each time i say show something to you you say it's specific the quran is specific specific sure sure specific for a specific case Somebody kill a woman. How I can kill his woman? This this was for you are the case. one who called me. You are the one who called me. Said how the Bible says you can kill their children, kill their women, etc. Right now it you are saying to me this is a specific this case. Well, that is a specific no, case too. This was now listen to me. Answer how I can kill your woman. You killed my wife. What is the logic that I should kill your wife? You, Explain to me. You are what this is the logic? What is the logic? You kill my you wife read, if I kill you, your wife. You read, you read a hadith where it's where Muhammad said, Muhammad peace upon him said, "Do not kill a woman or a child or burn a tree." You didn't read that or not? Sh should or I show you a hadith says you can kill them? If I show you a hadith, you will you can kill them. What you would do? Show what is authentic. Okay, I will show you authentic. But let us first answer so, this one first. How you can so, kill a woman? I killed your wife. What is the reason for you to kill my wife? What is the logic? Honest, I need. I didn't read tafsir, but I think I'm I'm reading tafsir right now. Doesn't matter what you are reading. Tell me, give me the answer. What the tafsir says to you? A man he kills your wife. It says here, man afa, man afa, fa man afa lahu min akhi shayin fatbaa bil maruf. If you mercy, it's better. It's better not to do so. So, so this was. What, what does that mean? What really, does that mean? What does that mean? What does it have to do with my topic? If I kill your wife, what is the logic to kill my wife? You shouldn't, can ask this. Shouldn't you? You, can ask, you ask. can ask the same logic in the Old Testament too. Well, so you have No, you have see, to... that is there is, a, is a two nations fighting. Here, two Muslims. This is stupid. This is... Two nations fighting. Those nations, because they killed. Is... Those nations, they killed their women, they killed their children, they killed their animals. 
this nation been allowed in general to attack case, uh, listen listen let me answer you in general this, no in listen general listen case, let me answer you you see how stupid the Quran is in that the, the one about the Jews other nation is attacking them and they did that to them in return of what they did do the same to them now here we have two Muslims one man he killed a wife of somebody how you say to him to the other guy kill his wife no this is not what it means it okay, means explain to me here we go you have you have that, that interpretation you right? know you read you, you said, read you God said does, you, God, my God, friend my God friend does. you said you have the interpretation what interpretation you are reading from i will open i will read with you right right, right now okay, right i'm here. reading i'm reading now what interpretation I'm what, what interpretation trying I will, trying I will open. What but you, in general cases no no don't tell me, uh, no 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 don't, don't skip you see i don't like muslims jumping over over the, the hole we have a hole we have to close it okay now what interpretation you are reading because I want to read with you. Why you don't want to name it? Why you don't want to give me the name of the interpretation you are reading? Ibn Kathir. Ibn, Ibn Kathir. Kathir. Okay, let us go to Ibn Kathir. Thank you very much. Guys, Ibn Kathir, did you hear it? He said we will go to Ibn Kathir. Here you go. This is Ibn Kathir. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I will make you read it by yourself in English. I'm reading, uh, I'm finding the Arabic page. I will bring the English one second. Well, we, we use the English one, so everybody, you can read the Arabic, no problem. I like your funny Arabic. Uh, okay, 178. Here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. All right. Al-Qisas, the law of equity in punishment, is prescribed for you in the case of murder, free for the free, slave for the slave, a female for the female. Al-Hurr bil hur wal-abdu wal-abdu wal-unsa bil-unsa. The free for the free, the slave for the slave, and the female for the female was abrogated by the statement, life for a life. <laughs> yes, it was abrogated. Simple, abrogated. Explain to me abrogated. why it's abrogated. Thank you, thank you, guys. He just he just admitted. Thank you. It was abrogated. Why you did not no. say to me? Okay, why it's abrogated? God, abro why let it's me, abrogated? Let me, let why, me, let me speak. why it's abrogated? Let me speak for one second. Uh -huh. Okay, hmm. we have a respectful conversation. I speak. You speak. No problem. Why it's abrogated? It's a, go, go it's to, it. Go it's abrogated problem. because it's not in a general case. Because what what was told, God does not forbid you. From showing kindness to those who do, did not fought you about uh, in your religion so you, okay. and did not so drive what you, you say out abrogated? of your Hold on, hold on. When you say abrogated, are you saying this is not valid no more to practice? Of course, it was. It's no. It's no longer valid to practice. Thank you. Does that mean this, Allah? He found that he was. was is that, is that, why Muhammad abrogated that? Is that because he found that this is stupid? No, because it, it's not. A, it's a general case. It's, what? What's it's not case? a general case? What special because case? It, you killed my wife. Explain to me the special case. I this killed your wife. Well, I no, no, no. Explain. No, no, no. There's no special case. You are a liar. Show me. Show me where it says here. This is a special case. Show me. Show me in the interpretation where it says this is a special case. It's in front of us. Show me where in the interpretation it says this is was a special case and it's abrogated because of that reason. Can you show it to me? You said you said yourself in the tafsir it's abrogated. Yeah, but it's not because it's a special case. Because because people complain, people they say this is stupid. The guy he killed my wife killed the guy who killed the wife, not the, well, his wife. Well, 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 of course, if you think this is stupid, then you must read the listen, the listen, same listen, thing. listen, listen, listen. What the same thing? I killed your wife. Who is the one should be killed? Anyone have little brain should okay. say the give one me, who killed the one who killed the the the, the, the women should second. be killed. This is between two Muslims, not between two nations. So now a Muslim he killed a woman. Why I should kill no. his women? One second. One second. <laughs> one second. Yes, he will not have an answer. He will go and search in the Bible now. No, no, no. I, I will give you an answer. Mm -hmm. Deuteronomy 1921 says the exact same thing. Eye and eye and tooth for tooth. This is not an eye for an eye, you idiot. This is not an eye for an eye. This is two Muslims 
who one of them killed the other one wife I the, the, the Bible teaches this, this is not regarding if a man wife. This killed is regarding somebody you are a liar the Bible says if a man kills somebody he will be killed not his wife will be killed an eye and I and two for this two. is not an eye for an eye if I kill and I will be killed this is what the Bible says here it says if I kill your wife you kill my wife this is not an eye for an eye this is stupid this you, if you think this is stupid, then bring the rest of the, your your own. No, you, just, you just said to me, eye for an eye. This is not eye for an eye. Eye for an eye. If I took your eye, you took my eye. My eye, not the eye of my wife. You idiot. If you can, okay, well, answer you, me. You had, answer me. How the, you want to take the the eye of my wife? I took your eye. Eye for an eye. I took your eye. You take my eye. Not you don't take the eye of my wife. So here it says. If you kill my wife, I kill your wife. It's not a literal eye. It's not a literal eye. Even what even eye? What eye? Way. Listen, how? What is the justification for your God, huh? To take such a thing to make it a law, and but later he abrogated the same justification that you. This is this, uh, alone. Let us be clear. This this verse is no longer. Why is no longer? Because it, people start making fun of Muhammad for his being no, stupid. No. Because what, this is a stupid. Why, why? This is a stupid. This is not a joke. Okay, this is it's your personal. It's, it's your personal. Wait, no, wait, no. Wait, explain to me what is the justice in this, and that's my personal. You are the most. Give me a second. Me. Let, explain to me. Explain to me. Give me a second. Me. Me a second why, speak. if I kill your wife, you can kill my wife? Give me the Give answer. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. speak. Give me a, a minute to speak, then respond to me. I'm waiting okay? for you to answer. Go ahead. Okay. Hmm. This was abrogated, okay? Because that's, that's one thing. Because because the people they made fun of Muhammad for his stupid. I don't know. I I, I don't know. I wasn't there. I wasn't ah, there. Okay. Okay. Now this. abrogated, not abrogated. In a certain time, this verse fun. this verse came from Allah. Correct. This verse came from Allah. Are you saying to me? It was wrong, and Allah fixed Himself later. He made it something different. No, it so, was a specific, so it why was a Allah allowed this? Okay, explain to me now. In that time, in why Allah allowed a man to kill the wife of other man? Explain to us. No, it's not wife for wife. It was for it says, our there, it says female for the female. Are you deaf? Female for the female. So the the, the criminal doesn't matter who he is. If the if if the if the the, the victim is a female, we kill his female. It doesn't say kill the killer and then abrogated you, abrogated by the verse care, listen you, abrogated by a verse saying life for a life which is saying the same indeed, thing actually indeed this was a this was a, a, a tribal issue what a tribal, tribal what a tribal god is we, talking my friend this is god talking god god this is, this is not, not talking a, about this is not a tribal this is, this is a lie this is talking there, about there's you no have tri a, there's you no have tribe a, you are a liar there's no tribal in islam in Islam, okay. Muhammad, he said, no. if anyone is uh, uh, proud about his uh, tribe, tell him to go and bite the penis of his father. Do you want me to show you the hadith? What tribal? A Muslim is not second, allowed to be proud about tribe. Second talk. This was a war verse. This was what about war? a what war. war. This is no, this is not a war. You are a liar. It's in case tafsir. of murder. It's in case yes. of murder. Read the tafsir. Show me where is the war. See, I will open. I it says, my, listen, Abdul. It says, Free for a free, slave for a slave, women for the women. What war? <laughs> in the in the case of murder. You did, you did, you not did. in the case of war. I see it, I see. It's in the front of you. That I've seen in the front of you. I'm not. I'm not opening the. Uh, 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 where this is? This is a translation. My friend, who cares if it's translation or not? Ibn Kathir in the front of you, and the Quran in Arabic. It says. In, in the case of Qasas, Qasas is a murder, murder, not war. War, there's no murder. War, there's two enemies. It was abrogated. abrogated. It doesn't matter. It is, it is abrogated. Why? Because people, they are making fun of the stupid okay, Allah. You what can say of... the same thing no, about no, no, the no, old no. no, you cannot. You cannot. Eye for an eye doesn't say you do that. You are, you are a liar. And now you, need, you, you are the one who put yourself in the corner. You said it's abrogated. You don't tell us why it's abrogated. If it is correct anyway. Why he need to abrogate that? Don't we need it anymore? This, was it this wrong? Was was was, 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 was it wrong? Tribal was war. It, tribal. tribal. Where is the tribe? Show me the tribe. Show me where in there it says there's two tribe are fighting. Are you an idiot or what? It, and it, it, let us say this for the sake of argument, there's a tribe. How you say to them, the man who killed your wife killed his wife. 
What is the logic? No, this was not the pro. They, we, they were with all with another tribe. Abdul, another tribe. Abdul, Abdul, you are a liar. I challenge you to show me the two tribe fighting. Okay, I'm trying to find the website again for the tafsir what to, because what to, my internet is. What do you mean you cannot slow. find it again? You know, in here in the front of us, we have Ibn Kathir. I, you have, you have at at a specific <laughs> cropped it down, cropped it down place. Abdul, it doesn't matter what is the specific. A female for the female. Allah is teaching justice now. Who care about why? It's a case of murder. So now it's clear it's a murder. It's not, it is unjustified killing. This is what murder means. So tribal, not a tribal, shish kebab, falafel, who care? What kind of God he says such a thing? But because Muhammad is a liar, he is a thief, he stole the law of Moses. He thought that Moses by saying eye for an eye, I can do that. But then when he practiced this, the Jews, they start making fun of him. They said, this is, him. This is not an eye for an eye. Are you crazy? Would you? The, okay, some, one second, one second. You're saying a God would never order such thing, right? Abdul, in you front of you. It's God. in front of you. Don't, don't, don't play games. Answer me. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just wondering. You caught, for me, you're caught for me two verses you already. This. You caught for me two verses from the Bible already, and I answered you. And you are a liar okay, again. Okay, regarding this, you answer, think I'm Answer, you are the one who opened the topic. Why you are jumping? Why you don't answer first about this one? And then you can read for me from the Bible. I answered you about the Bible. This is not an eye for an eye. This is an eye yes. for my wife. I. Okay. Oh, this was a case of. What case? Show me. Where is the case? What case? Show me the case. Show me the case. The case you are talking about. Can I see it, I'm, please? How you get I'm the word to open the website how, because how I read, you get the I word read case it in the casino. Where you get the word case from? You said it's abrogated. My Clearly. friend, abrogated because people they made love of Muhammad. What kind of God he abrogated? Well, who, who said that he what they kind made of love God? Of who what said kind, they made fun kind, of him what so kind it will abrogate? What kind of God he abrogate his law in less than a week? You can ask the same question. You say what that kind the, the of Old God, Testament what kind was abrogated. Of God, what kind of God he abrogate his law in one in a week? Same prophet, same time, same week. One week after a week, I say, Oh, no, this is what's stupid. You know what? Allah he abrogate this verse. Oh, this tell is me, not just tell me how that happened, my friend. Or a specific case because this was a tribal case. Abdul, because this was Abdul, a tribal case. Abdul, 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 show... Abdul, I don't care. It's tribal case or not. Where is justice? This is God making justice just... now. One second. One let second. us say, one let second. us say for the sake one of second. argument. Two one tribe, second. two tribe, Mr. Two Second. Two tribe are fighting. All right. And now one of them he did a murder against someone else. What kind of God he said to him? He killed your wife, kill his wife. This was okay. When, when you will give me a chance to talk, mm. or you, you, you will always interrupt. I'm giving me. you a chance. Don't without interrupting me, let me talk. Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. This was for the I I'm not exactly sure why it was abrogated because I can't I can't get access to the full tafsir. Okay, okay the tafsir in front but of I you. Can, look what it says. Look, I, look what I it says. To, let, me, want, let me get you busted. Let me get you busted. I want two group of people. They are fighting, and when they fight, they say if, I, if they kill the let look, look 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 what it says. Let me let let us laugh let us laugh together. First, a group of Muslim they say if if the, they kill a slave from us, we will kill a free man of them. So Allah He wanted to correct them if they kill. A woman of us, we will kill a man for them, which means the killer. Allah corrected them and He said, No, 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 you don't do that. Al -hurru bil -hurru wal -abdu wal -bil -abdu wal -untha bil -untha. So Allah He is correcting the Arab. He said, No, don't do that. If he killed a slave of you, you don't kill his slave. You kill you don't kill him, you kill his slave. If he kill a woman of his of you, you don't kill his him, you kill his woman. Read it in the front of you. This is the tafsir. I'm reading one second. Do you see it? They used to kill. Okay, it's the very women. clear. They it used, stays they used to kill. They one used second. to kill. They used to kill the women for by the man. Which means, if a man he killed the women, they don't accept to kill a woman. They accept to kill a man. One second. Allah, one he second. said, no, one don't minute. do that. One minute. One minute. One minute. <laughs> do we both agree that this was abrogated? Abdul, I agree. All the Quran okay, is abrogated. Okay, find, okay. Find me one thing in the Quran is not abrogated by you. Find me one thing. There's a lot of verses. Everything. A lot no, of all the Quran is abrogated. I can show you, and you will tell you no. will tell me right one. I want to. I want to continue my. Now, my friend, don't don't worry about abrogated. That will not change anything. What kind of God he make a stupid law? This because is the question. 
Okay, one second. Uh -huh. the, the wisdom between <laughs> abrogation to cancel an, or, an, an already uh, popular law in society to change it to, to change it to change it to show that show you me, do not show me why it says that one show, me, show one. me why it says that you are being a stupid liar in front of you it says that they used to say if he killed a slave of us we will kill a man of them a free man if they kill a woman of us we will kill a man a free man of them Allah he said don't do that no more Free for the free, slave for the slave. Of course, women he for says, women. "Don't do that no more." Yes, do. he shown he, them and he what told was them what to do. And he, and he told them what to do. He told them what to do, and what to do is supposed to, he's correcting them. But but they were doing the correct thing. They are killing the killer, the man. If he kill a slave, they want to kill the man who killed the slave, not a slave. If a man he killed the woman, they want to kill the man who killed the woman, not his women. Allah said to them, "No, don't do hey, that." This was abrogated. This was abrogated yeah, but, because but Abdul, listen, Allah is teaching them wrong. Allah is saying to them, "Don't no, kill the not, killer." Read that's it not the, the idea. It's in the front of you. What's wrong with you? It's in the front of your eyes in Arabic second, in the screen. One second, one second. It's in the front of okay. your <laughs> eyes in the screen. What's wrong with you? You claim you speak. Go. You claim you speak Arabic, right, Somalian boy? Read with me. حتى قتل العبيد والنساء فلم يأخذ بعضهم من بعض حتى أسلموا. فكان أحد الحيين يتطاوع على الآخر في العدة والأموال فحلفوا أن لا يرضوا حتى يقتلوا بالعبد منا حرا منهم وبالمرأة منا الرجل, من الرجل منهم فنزلت فيهم الحر بالحر والعبد بالعبد والأنثى بالأنثى Do you know Arabic or you don't? Do you give me a minute to, you give me a minute to read without interruption without any nervousness? One second One second Okay, let me speak, and you you want to judge whenever the, if, if you want to judge. Mm. But I will tell you uh, what 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 the thing is, what the tafsir is saying. Okay, mm. what tafsir is saying? What tafsir you are reading? Okay, I will tell you that the tafsir is is on your, on your eyes. What tafsir you are okay? reading? What tafsir you are reading? Okay? The tafsir we are reading in, in your in front of you. Okay, okay. all right. Okay, let me speak without any interruption. No, we problem. can then after this hmm. get to another side. Uh, uh, I can ask my question. You ask <laughs> me. You responded to me with the Quran. Hmm. Give me a chance to respond hmm. to you. All right. Okay, uh, with with the Bible after it. I have a question. I get a question too. Okay, I get a question. Okay, hmm. okay, okay. You you judge wh wherever you want. I can say a lot of opinions about. Your your Bible, your Bible, hmm. and assets can can take verses and uh, put fun of them and say what's the point of uh, of Don't Jesus. Don't waste my sacrifice. time. Go, go to the topic. Okay, go to the topic. Okay. Okay. Read, read. What? Okay, okay. read. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, the the uh, this this was this used to be in the past. Hmm. Uh, uh, <laughs> an eye, an eye for eye, and a tooth for tooth. They used to kill it, kill each others mm -hmm. for uh, for the for the slave for slave, and this and this. Mm -hmm. But now this Allah wanted to show that this has this has to be changed. Where he showed that? This was with the verse when it was abrogated. The abrogation. Uh, okay. That's the whole point. I, I don't care about the abrogation now. Tell me why you Allah allow, this, this why is, you see, is a, why you are being why you are being a funny guy. We are talking about the verse, not the abrogation. Finish the verse first. Why Allah He said, in the case of murder, free for the free, slave for the slave, women for the women. This is our question, not the abrogation. The abrogation you can tell me later. Why Allah is allowing and teaching them that this is what you should do. This is the question. You are jumping to the abrogation because you are ashamed of the verse, and obviously the abrogation happened for a reason because this is wrong. Otherwise, why no, Allah? Why Allah? He, because why it Allah, was to show why Allah he changed his mind because he found it was Muhammad. So, you can ask yourself that question because, when he when no, Noah. Listen, when you, I answered you. Don't play games. Why Allah? He say if you take the eye of my wife, I will take. You can take the eye of his wife. Why he said that? What about but taking the eye of the guy who took the eye? This is what an eye for an eye for. If you take my eye, I take your eye, not I take your eye of your wife. Okay, let me read. 
the period because you you always rush me okay mm. it says in ka iza kan amdan al hur bil hur dalik hina min al arab iqtatalu min al من الجاهلية قبل الإسلام بقليل فكان بينهم قتل وجراحات حتى قتل العبيدة والنساء فلدني أخذ من بعضهم حتى فكان أحد يقول لهم أدرى وخلف والله حد this this verse hmm. I according to this tafsir because hmm. I have never read this tafsir I will be honest with hmm. you hmm. like any like when I ask a Trinitarian Christian about a verse in his Bible and he cannot uh, answer hmm. I'm not a very well knowledgeable person regarding this case hmm. but it says here hmm. this this was meant not meant to, to be from it's is speaking about what uh, what used to be done in the past and I in the days of Jahiliya that's what the tafsir says I'm not a very I have let me let me let, yes. me let me translate why what's wrong with you in the in the in the Jahiliya they used to say if he killed a slave of us we want to kill a free man of them is that correct yes All this right. was a, this according okay. to the tafsir but the killer, but the killer, but the killer, but the killer about the killer is talking not about okay. the Jahiliya okay. not what for the killer but, women of uh, of us we will kill a man of them okay you agree yes this was do. about so the time of Allah, the day. so how Allah is correcting them. you get yourself busted you are saying Allah correcting them by saying if they kill a woman of yours you kill women of them no so, this what it says this. They, they are, they, listen enough. listen read with me carefully it says if they kill a slave of us, we will not accept to kill except a free man of them. And if they kill a woman of us, we will kill a man of them. So the man, he is the one obviously who killed, not a woman. The woman is the, the, the victim. So the Quran is correcting them, saying to them, no, 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 no. If, if a slave was killed, you kill a slave of them. You don't kill a free man. If a, if a woman killed, if a woman killed, you don't kill a woman. You don't kill the man. You kill the woman, a woman of that guy. What's wrong with this guy? I'm not. I'm not, I'm not sure you're uh, reading it correctly. Okay, I will. Let's My uh, friend, find. It's an, in the front of you. It's in the front of you. Don't tell me. Don't tell me I'm lying. It's in the front of your eyes. Okay. And this I, is and this is Tafsir al Quran al Azim. Okay. 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 One who second, is the okay. Who is the one? This is Ibn Kathir. The, this is the same interpretation you choose. You are the one who asked me to read from here. It's not my choice. Okay, I would just this was I understood from it. <laughs> no, this this is so what now, I understood. So now we get a conclusion that your God is a stupid God. He said oh, in but, the case, look, hey. look at this, look at this. A man he killed a woman. Why you want to kill his women? In case in case one second, one second. In case of stupidity, it's something uh, may I uh, may I pass this you want to change the topic and, ask, and you will go talk to talk no, about I the don't Bible, want to right? change the topic if yeah, it's because, because God, answer me God, why? answer me you are what? the one who said to me let us read the, the tafsir right and now we have the tafsir what? I said I said to you which what? one what? you said what? Ibn Kathir you choose Ibn Kathir Ibn Kathir get Allah busted he said those Arab they used to do it right they used to kill the criminal if a man he killed the woman they say we will kill the man not the woman if a man he kill our slave, we will kill the man who kill our slave, not his slave. Allah, he said to them, no, no, you don't do that. You, if he kill your slave, you kill his slave. If he kill your woman, you kill his woman. What kind of God is God is teaching the wrong? Okay, one second, and I, 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 I've told you that in general, <laughs> in general, we are, and I'm, I'm not sure which, which tafsir. Is, what do you mean? Uh, what, what, uh, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? You are the one who said to me, Ibn Kathir. Guys, everybody who is listening, did he say to me? I said to him, which kit of seer you are you want to read? He said, Ibn Kathir. This is Ibn Kathir. And this is Islam Library. .islam the, whole, web. the whole point. Value. Whole listen, point. listen, listen. This is the whole point. You are the one who chose the tafsir, and the tafsir get you busted. The whole point tafsir, is, tafsir, is tafsir, Ibn Kathir. This is the whole the point. The whole point is abrogated, yes. Because that's this additional proof why that does Islam it is false. You if it's because why, why does? Allah abrogated? Because people they start making fun of the stupid Muhammad. How you teach? Where is teaching? where is making fun? Say it in Arabic. Okay, make, say make it. it where where in which line they made fun? All the Quran, the, the, the Arab they are making fun no, of Muhammad. No, where is where where did people where in the line did it say okay, in the text? In the front of everybody. They in the they front, made fun in of him. In the front, so, in the front uh, of everybody. If I show you the Arab making fun of Muhammad, it changes his mind. About abrogation, okay, are you going? Are you willing? That, are you willing to say that my prophet is stupid? Listen, I will make a challenge. If I show you, 
that the Arab they said to Muhammad, you one, sec are, you one second, one second Look to end him. How he changed his mind and he changed the verses and the law every few days, making fun of him. If I show you that, are you willing to 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 say Muhammad is a crazy man? You one second, one second. When I spoke mm. one se uh, one second, okay. Mm. First of all, first of all, first of all, it was abrogated. Second of all, mm. they never made fun of him. In in the tafsir, there's no word they made fun of him. So the, so the, the verse changed. No, this this never happened. Okay, that what happened that it is abrogated. It was a law in Jahiliya that was abrogated. <laughs> That's what the tafsir says. The end. This is the end now. No, this is the end. This is the, what the tafsir says. What the it end? Was what, what, what the end? The end. That's, uh, wh why the why the abrogation happened? Why? Because it's wrong. Why Allah He changed His mind? Can you tell me why Allah he changed his mind? Because to show that Jahiliya laws need to change. What show the Jahiliya? The Jahiliya they were doing so it right. The Jahiliya they were doing it right. They used to kill the man who killed. Yes, this was changed for yeah. the wisdom of Allah. This so Allah, changed. Allah, he abrogated to go back to the, 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 the teaching of the Jahiliya. He's a Jahiliya now. He's no, God. the teaching Abdul, of Jahiliya. Abdul, Abdul, read with me. It says, and nafs to be nafs. But Allah before he said to them, no, a man for a man, women for a woman, slave for a slave. But they are the one he used to say, nafs bin nafs, the one who killed a, free, a slave of us, we will kill a free man of them because he is the one who killed our slave. So your God, he, he don't want a free man to be killed. He want the black man to be killed. No, you don't kill the... the, the, the no, you, you realize the prophet had a, had a black uh, adopted son? He have adopted son, he's black? What is his name? No, Bilal. Bilal. Bilal is adopted son of Muhammad? No, it's not but but he was he was his, his servant. He used to serve. Uh, him. So you are saying he to me, you're a prophet. He owned black slaves. No, he's not a slave. He was like a. Is Bilal he was, like was, his was son Bilal a slave of Muhammad? Bilal yes or no? was his was was, his was Bilal a slave? Yes or no? Bilal was his was was, was Bilal a slave? He you say yes. No, he listen, listen. Him. He let, him. let me get, he bought. Let me get you busted. Was a Bilal a slave? When Muhammad died and he was a slave when Muhammad was alive, he bought him, then freed him. Who freed him? Muhammad freed him? I guess. Okay. What if I got you busted? Hmm? Are you there? I'm there. Okay. What if I got you busted? You said that Muhammad he freed Bilal. Correct. Okay. I, what, okay. This I, want I, you, this, I want you to show me one hadith says that the prophet he freed Bilal. Okay. One can, second. Can you show me? <clears throat> no problem. I'm waiting. Prophet Google, you are searching Google. Should I stay until tomorrow? I'll, I'm, I'm here. One second. First of all, who is the one who bought Bilal? Do you know? Muhammad? The Prophet bought Bilal. The Prophet he bought Bilal, right? Okay. Mm. okay. <coughs> so in Islam, if, yeah. uh, if, the, if, somebody, okay. if somebody he bought a person, he is the only one he can free him. Is that correct? I don't hear you. Okay. Say again. Huh? What? 
What? I I I don't I don't uh, hear you, my friend. Uh, your voice is cutting. If you have many applications running, try to close some of them. <coughs> what? And guys, do you hear him? Anybody hear him? <coughs> Hello. Hang up, hang up and call me back. Okay. Let me let me call you back. <coughs> Hello. 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 Uh, maybe I'm calling the wrong person. This is not the same Hello. guy who called me. Hello. Hello. Hi, you hear me? Yeah. And by the way, why you have a naked picture of you in the in the screen? Why is that? I'm I'm a uh, I practice gym. What do you care? What you practice? What? Gym, gym. You put your. This is a gym. This is this is ugly. I mean, why you you are a, you are a decent Muslim person defending Allah, and you are speaking to people showing your breast. This is this is not uh, this is not our okay. This is what regard. This is not aura aura. Ah, this is not aura. Should, show, should I show you that aura in Islam is to show that your knee and and up? This is not I, aura. So you are allowed to show the Muslim women you talk to them and you are showing your breast like no, this. I'm not. Anyway, anyway, this is your business. Let us go. Now you said that uh, Bilal was freed by Muhammad, correct? I was saying that he can buy, he, he could have bought his freedom. No, listen, listen, don't lie. You said that Muhammad, he freed him. Tell me how he freed him. You are a liar. And I will get you busted in a second. He could buy his freedom if he wanted to. Show me the reference. Show me the reference. They, they, Show me the reference. You are the one who mentioned Bilal, not me. Remember, I'm not the one who mentioned Bilal. Okay, bring on. We can bring. He could have bought his freedom. That I Wait, show I me mean. where, where, where he bought his freedom. Show me where. I was incorrect. You know what? You know what? You know what? I if I sh if you show me where Muhammad he bought the freedom of Bilal, I'm going to hang up. I will close my show right now. I will apologize for, apologize from you, because I have a different story. One of you is a liar. Either you or Muhammad. Okay, one second, one second. Okay, mm -hmm. I was mistaken. It was Zaid ibn Harissa. He, that's the uh, one who was. But you are the he, one who mentioned to me, Bilal. Let us okay, focus on Bilal. I'm no problem, no problem. Who is Zaid ibn Harissa? Who's Zaid ibn? This is this is this is the this is the adopted son where Muhammad he was sleeping with his wife. Correct. No, was wasn't sleeping with my his friend. Wife. He was sleeping he with his wife, and we will talk about it. But let's first let's finish with Bilal. Let us finish with Bilal. Bilal, the poor Bilal, Muhammad he died. Muhammad, he died, and he was still as a slave of Muhammad, cleaning the poopoo -poo and the dishes of Muhammad. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari in front of me, and it's a Sahih hadith. After the death of Muhammad, Bilal, he came to Abu Bakr, because you, you, you are an ignorant. The one who bought Bilal, it was Abu Bakr, for a very simple reason. Abu Bakr is the one who inherited all the slaves of Muhammad, who used to be in the house of Aisha. Now, Bilal said to Abu Bakr, if you bought me for yourself, then keep me for yourself. But if you have bought me for the sake of Allah, then leave me for the sake of Allah. So the poor Bilal, he lived as a black slave, humiliated, living as a third class citizen, not even a citizen, he's just a slave, abused and used by the white man Muhammad all his life. And now the poor Bilal, he'd been promised by Muhammad to be free. He thought he would be free one day. Now Muhammad is dead. Abu Bakr took over. So he said to him, what, when this will be over? You did lie to me, all of you. If you bought me for okay, the sake I want of to Allah. Check if, this is, if, if this is Sahih or not Sahih. My friend, this is Sahih al-Bukhari. What do you mean Sahih or not Sahih? This is Sahih al-Bukhari. There is, there is a great level. You mentioned before because I saw. My friend, you this is Sahih al-Bukhari. No problem. You know what? No, not Sahih yeah, al-Bukhari. You, know then... you know what? Show me one person say this hadith is da'if. Here we go. 
اوكي اي ويل اي ويل جوجل سيرش ات مايت سيلف بس بيكوز ات صحيح بخاري ذات ات مين ذا جريد از صحيح اه اوكي صحيح بخاري از نوت صحيح ذا بوك از نيم صحيح بس ذا بوك از حديث انه صحيح ذات ا جود وان You can show me the part in, in Arabic, please. One second, because I, I know you cannot search for it. You know. All right. Here we go. قال لي أبي بكر إن كنت إن مشتريتني لنفسك فامسكني وإن كنت إن مشتريتني لله فدعني وعمل الله. Ah, read it. What kind of? Why you are lying? Says the Prophet, he free Sir Bilal. I want to fix the. Why you, are lying? Why you are lying? Before, why you are lying? Before one lying? second. One why, second before you, you I saw a video why you mention Bilal saying that the Prophet he free Bilal and now we have a problem. I, this is Zaid in now, the now I am going because to ask the question. No problem, was, but you are. This is your mistake, not my, not my my problem. Now, why your Prophet did not free Bilal? This is the question now. You can ask. Uh, you can ask the same question. Why? Why, did why like, you're a Prophet? You must enlighten us. Why did us. Jesus not abolish uh, abolish slavery? You need to ask this question to yourself. Je Jesus, he said, give what to Caesar to Caesar and what to God to God, which means... But he said, but he allowed slaves. No, 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 he did not allow... This is, this is, this is, you know, slavery in the Bible, that's you, you hire yourself to work for somebody for seven years. Really? Now, really, sir. now answer me. This, why, and you're allowed to be the slave, okay, right? Are you allowed to rape a slave in Islam? You, well, you, are, are you, you allowed, allowed to rape a slave in Islam? Yes. Are you no? allowed to rape? Are you slave allowed to slave? No, we don't have Testament. a slave. We don't have a slave in Christianity. The Jews, you they have in all the Jews, Testament the law written. of the Jews is more than two thousand years before Muhammad. Okay, Muhammad, you're saying. Came, listen, you're listen. Saying. Muhammad came six hundred years after Jesus, where people they are going forward. And people they are, they used to be savage, and God is fixing them, is teaching them to be better and better and better. And suddenly we came back to go to the cave time before the Jewish you're, or, or you're saying, time. You're saying, you're you, saying. You are the one saying to me that Bilal was afraid by your prophet, but in fact saying. he was not. How many slaves was in the house of your prophet? You're how you many realize slaves? he freed. Abdul, he Abdul, freed. Abdul, how many slaves was in the house of Jesus and how many slaves was in the house of Muhammad? You can ask yourself that question. From answer the, the question. I have, I, I will answer you. There's zero slaves in the house of Jesus. How many really? slaves? Yes. How many black slaves in the house of Muhammad? Seriously? How many African slaves? I want an answer. How many African, specifically African? How many African in the, slaves out, the in the house slave. of Muhammad? There's no slaves in the house of Christian people. Really? Yes. Really? Anyone you, who follow Jesus? By the yeah. same time, no, our prophet. Listen, was listen, saying, listen. You did lie to us, say that Muhammad he free Bilal, and he adopted him as a son. This is a second lie. So Bilal, we found that Bilal, the poor guy. He never been freed, and he is begging Abu Bakr to for his freedom. And Muhammad used I would, him. I would need to check this is Sahih or why, not. Why, why Bilal? Why Can you Bilal? copy this the link, please? Bilal the... promised. Listen, listen. Bilal promised by Muhammad he will go to heaven. Isn't it? Is it? Is it? Is it fair to promise him to go to heaven, but yet you will not let him go free? Can you copy? Can you copy paste the, the link for Hadith in the just in the in the. My uh, friend, go to Google, search Hadith number Bukhari hey. 3755. What's wrong with you? 17, what number again? Sahih al Bukhari 3755. <coughs> 2nd you can't link me in the in the chat window <laughs> what because i can't i one second i will go to sonar.com one second uh, you know before i uh, continue talking to you i want you to go and change the, the the stupid picture you have in your i don't want to look at this change the picture and call me back please i don't want to see a naked man i'm not going to talk to a gay speaking to me wearing no clothes I mean, you, are, you, are, you I cannot even believe it. Even you are calling me with such a picture. Change your clothes. Put a shirt on you. This hadith, change, I will I'll change the picture. Yeah, this hadith is sahih. I'll check. Yeah, and, I'll check. Uh huh. Okay, go change your go change this picture and call me back. 
al Sheikh Bilal said to Abu Bakr. Uh -huh. Okay, one second. Okay, one uh -huh. second. One second. Okay. I mean, you are the perfect man to do dawah to Islam. I'm not a perfect way, man. I'm a, not a perfect man. I'm a, just a, a researcher. A, you have a big muscles, by the way. I'm sure the the women in the chat they are going crazy now. Better than you. Okay. Do you, do you speak to Muslim aware with no with no clothes like this? Is that what do you do I, in Skype? You live in Saudi Arabia, right? This is why you do this. Why no, you I do don't this. do that. I don't yeah, do all that. All those is, who live in Saudi Arabia, they do this because this they, profile, because they this are. Uh, your prophet, you do that. Do you want to show you the hadith? Your prophet doing that. What's wrong with that now? Do you want me to show your prophet? You, do you want why, me to show you your prophet kissing a man naked like you in his belly? Why don't? Do you want why don't you complete? Do you want me why to show you? Do you want to show you your prophet? Why do you keep skipping the subject? I'm not skipping. I'm waiting for you to find me the hadith is weak. I showed you the hadith. I'm waiting for you. But do you want me to find you your prophet doing exactly the same, kissing a man under his belly, and he was wearing you are, no t-shirt? You are changing constantly. I'm not constantly. changing. You are the one who's changing. You are the one who mentioned Bilal, not me. We never spoke about Bilal. Your quest, I'm waiting your, for you to find me that this hadith is weak. Here we go. What happened? You are constantly changing constantly, the Constantly. Well, I'm waiting. Why you are? What is the hadith, the weak hadith? This is Sahih al-Bukhari, strong hadith. Strong hadith? Yes. I don't see the grade. I don't see the, the grading of the hadith. Show me, show me where it says the Sahih al Bukhari. Show me where it says weak. Then, what's wrong with you? Because I can't find the grading. <laughs> you the cannot grading find, is not written. This is what happened, my friend. You cannot find one hadith saying it is weak. You cannot find one page. I can't Google. find where it says. You says cannot strong. find. You cannot just go. Just get go. Go. Go change your shirt, you idiot, liar, stupid, shameful person. Do you know that the Prophet he freed Bilal and he took him like a son? Really? He did? <laughs> Guys, brother, do you know that the first one he called for the prayer, the Adan, it was Bilal because he's a slave. They order him. The hadith says the Prophet he ordered Bilal to do the Adan, ordered him. For he is his slave. The free men, they are sitting in their ass. The white Arab men sitting in their ass. And the poor black African slave is the one who serve. Bilal, he cleaned the dishes. Bilal, he carried the food. And Bilal, he bring the food. Bilal, he do the adhan. Bilal, Muhammad die, he bury him. Bilal is the one who was the prophet. Bilal is the one who cleaned the ass of the prophet. Bilal is the one who carried the underwear of the prophet. And then when the prophet dies, still Bilal is a slave. And now he is begging for his freedom. You want to debate with me? You have no idea. And this guy is having himself naked in the front of me. And here we go. The prophet kissing a man in his belly. The same as this guy. The guy is wearing no t-shirt. He's naked. So oh, yes, this is Islamic behavior, my friend. Islamic behavior to sit in the front of Skype and show the girls you are speaking to that you are naked. Here we go. <clears throat> Do you see it? The prophet is kissing a man who is naked under his belly. Look what the Muslims, they, 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 they try to make it look nicer in the translation. They say, and he began to kiss him in his side. What side? The word there is kashahu. This is side. This is his belly. <laughs> Sahih chain. Oh, Prophet, you are wearing a shirt, but I am not. What a gay. It's a gay. A prophet who is a gay kissing a gay. The caller is wearing no shirt, so he presents the guy who the prophet was kissing him. The prophet he came and he started hugging him and entering a stick and touching his ribs. And then the guy he said to him, Let me take retaliation. He said, Take retaliation, which means do the same to me as I did to you. He said, you are not wearing a shirt, but I am not. You are wearing a shirt, but I am not. The prophet then raised his shirt like, what the heck? And the man embraced him. Unbelievable. 
and began to kiss his side down of his belly. And he said, oh yeah, this is what I want. Exactly what I want. Mashallah. Exa don't stop. Please don't stop. <laughs> he forgot to change the account. He used to, ch to, to, to chat with the, with, the, with the Muslim ladies. You know, this is what happened to you if you live in Saudi Arabia. The first thing will happen, you will become either a child molester or a horny bastard. You cannot control yourself. You have to show yourself naked to anyone who's talking to you. I was going to the gym. You don't even have muscles. You, you, your body looks like a chicken. What gym? If this is after going to the gym, you look like that. What? How you look like before you go to the gym then? This is after you go to the gym? Unbelievable. Who's next? <laughs> you know, I was looking like first time when he called me, I did not notice really. But now I called like what this picture in front of me? Who's this guy? Maybe I called the wrong guy or something. But this guy's naked. You are calling me to debate me about Islam and religion, and you have naked picture of you in the camera. How many people you chat with, they are wearing no shirt? And you know, because I go to the gym. So what, 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 what do you mean you want to go to the gym? You want to show us that you have muscles? He changed the picture now, guys. He changed it. He took it off. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, what a good Muslim. And you know, I could not really take it. I mean, looking at this this naked man in front of me, I ah, yuck. Unbelievable. Disgusting. Do we have any Abdul? <clears throat> any Abdul? Call me, call me back. If you change your shirt and change your picture, call me back. Let me, I will call him. Hello? <clears throat> Hello? 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 Yeah, do you hear me now? I hear you. I'm glad that you took uh, you off your picture. Now listen. Do you see the hadith in the front of us? Your prophet is kissing a man down his belly. We have a, we have a second. We have a second. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, let us continue about Bilal. I forgot. And let us continue about the 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 guy uh, who, if you killed his wife, you kill. If you killed your wife, you kill his wife. One second. Hmm. Okay, look like you are busy. When you are not busy, let me know. I'm not going to wait for you. <coughs> I have no time for kids. Guys, the prophet, he adopted a guy, a white man. His name is Yazid. And he married him to a beautiful woman. And the adopted son, because he have a beautiful woman, the prophet, he decided to do him a favor, to sleep with his wife. But before he sleep with his wife, he went to her house. And he entered the house and he flirted with the wife. And he said to her, oh, praise be to Allah, the one who make my heart flip for you. A prophet of God? Flirting with the married women? The Muslim, they say to us, Well, David, he killed a man to take his wife. 
who is David? David is just a king, and he's a bad man. He was a very bad, he was a criminal. He was a sinner. He cried for God for forgiveness. This is who is David. We don't praise David. And the Muslim, they say prophet. I don't know what will make David really prophet. I can say that David is a prophet in the meaning that he prophesied that of things about God, but doesn't make him a prophet. You see, there's a prophet who received message from God to deliver. And there's a prophet who received inspiration from God for himself, which means he he have God spoke to him, maybe. But this is just for himself. He, you know, the, the, there's there's a message was given only to him. David was a criminal. He was a sinner. He was a bad man, actually. He cried day and night asking for forgiveness. Nobody can say David was a wonderful man. We have a man, the Muslim, they lie to us and they say, the Holy Prophet, when the Quran itself says he is full of sin, to the point the Quran says Allah will forgive his past and his coming sin. Muhammad, he adopted that man. Planning a plan. He want to marry him a woman who he cannot have. It's not time yet. He married him to that woman so he can sleep with that woman. Chapter 33, verse number 37. All Islamic books confirm that the prophet he went to the wife house when the husband was not there and he flirted with the wife saying to her praise be to Allah who made my heart flip for you look what it says <clears throat> we've been told by Ibn Wahab and this is Tafsir al-Tabari, that the Prophet, he married Zayd ibn Haritha, his adopted son. And by the way, the reason he did adopted this man because Muhammad was a potent man. He cannot have children. And this is additional proof that Muhammad never have kids, including the daughters he have from Khadija. Those are the daughters of Khadija. None of them are his daughter, not even Fatima. She is the youngest from the previous husband. Khadija, she have three husbands. So he adopted this person who was a white Arab, not a black, and he made him as adopted son, but that for a purpose of sleeping with his wife. So the wives will not complain if Muhammad, he went to the house of that man when the husband is not there for simply he is his father and nobody, nobody suspect that the father will sleep with the house with the wife of the son and look what happened it says that the prophet he went to the house after he married the the <clears throat> uh, zaid to zainab the daughter of jahish the daughter of donkey uh ibn ta'amati the, the his cousin uh, once the prophet he went to visit him and he was on the door and there was a curtain and then the curtain left up the door and then he saw her without clothing or at least exposing her body and then he fell or her 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 uh, 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 like uh, he admired what he saw in his heart which means he liked what he saw. He became in love with her body. And then uh, he liked her. And then Muhammad, he cannot hold himself. So he said to the wife, 
and let us read together what he said to her. Uh, <clears throat> where, where, where? Yeah, and then Allah, he inspired him and he told him, he sent him Jibreel, and he told him, Zainab, she will be one of your wives. What? Allah told him, Allah told him, Zainab, she will be one of your wives. That's it. Allah have a plan for him. He like her. That's it. Allah, if Muhammad, he like her, do you think Allah is going to watch? For sure not. He will get him the toy. Any toy Muhammad he like, Allah will bring him the toy. So now Allah is working to make a divorce happen between the wife and the husband. How this happened? The story says that after the prophet, he saw her and he liked her. He told her, praise be to Allah, the one who made my heart beat for you. The woman, she came, the husband, when he came back, the wife, she told her husband what his father, he said, that he said, he is in love with her. He said that loudly. Then look what Zainab she said. It's a miracle. After Muhammad, he said that. Zainab she said, she is reporting a miracle. Each time Zaid he come to his bed to do bang bang with her, he could not do it. And she said, she is adding, and nothing made him not to be able to do it except Allah did not allow him to do it. And then she add more that Allah, he made his penis swell. Allah, he made the penis of her husband swell. And this is very normal. Imagine Muhammad, he liked the women. There's no way your penis will function. If Muhammad, he liked any women, the penis of the husband right away will stop functioning and will swell. Allah will bite the penis of this man. Who is a Muslim is willing to call me and read for me the interpretation we have in front of us? And how dare you to mention that the Prophet, he adopted his slave son. He adopted him for his reason. It's in the front of us actually. It says that Muhammad was worried that people, they will say, Tazawwaja imra'ata ibnah. He did marry this, the wife of his son. How will you marry this wife with your son? For this is a scam back. He have no rule. He have no self-respect. They say to you that David, he did take the wife of a soldier. Muhammad, he took a wife of his son. The man who trusted him to visit him when he is not home because supposedly he is like a father for him. He is actually his father. He's adopted. Any Abdul? <coughs> and this is the women who Muhammad have no witnesses for his marriage to her. Look what I, what she said. In Allah Azza wa Jalla an kahani min as sama. Allah, the Almighty, He did made my if if her by the sky. Look how faithy this woman is. Obviously. You know why she want to marry an adopted slave by a man who cannot have a children's if she can sleep with the king the lord of this slave so obviously Zainab and Muhammad already they have a relationship and they were planning for it why Zainab she mentioned to her husband when he came back that your father was here and he flirted with me Why you do that? Any Muslim? Any Abdul? <clears throat> Who 
Who's Abdul wanna call me? At least, but please wear your shirt when you call me. All right. Anyway, I think we have enough for today, guys. Uh, please join us. Don't don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, which is I have in minds.com. Minds.com. I have an account there. Please let me let me open it for you. Minds.com. And for sure, you can uh, join us in Patreon. This is a place where people they can make donation. In case you like to support us but I know most of you here just don't care so this is minds.com all right and this is my account and you will find the link underneath I, th I think of the video so please join us there subscribe and this is like additional uh, secure uh, address in case you know in case we lose YouTube, every day we lose a new channel on YouTube. What a big deal. I will open a new channel every day. You cannot debate me for a very simple reason. Wherever you go, I will spank you. Whatever topic you choose, you will be sorry. You keep changing topic, I will make you sorry. Free for a free, slave for the slave, woman for the... Yeah, this is abrogated. Yeah, because... Why it's abrogated? Because it is a stupid. Why the muta was abrogated? Because it is filthy. People start complaining about such a prophet who do stupid law. In the case of murder, if I kill your wife, you kill my wife? It's a murder, not a war. If I take the eye of your wife, you take the eye of my wife. So now we have two victims. It's abrogated. The important, it is abrogated. He's ashamed of it to the point he keeps saying it's abrogated. Why it's abrogated? What kind of God? He made a law and after a week or seven days or even a month or even a year, he will change it. Why Moses did not abrogate his law every few days? Abrogated? Why? What is the real reason? I will tell you the real reason. Muhammad, when he keep changing his Quran and keep changing his ideas because he is very confused and he's very stupid, he have to come with the solution. So he come with this. If you remember when he was receiving satanic verses and Muhammad in the same time was suffering from forgetting verses. So he come with a chapter in the Quran, it says, chapter 2, verse one, 106, any verse we cause to abrogate and cause to be forgotten, we are going to substitute something better or similar. Have you ever heard of a stupid religion like this? Allah will abrogate his law, bring him better law. <laughs> Allah is going to Muhammad, guys, he was just, a, 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 he announced himself to be a, a prophet for a very short time. What do you mean you want to abrogate and you want to come with better Quran? You see the Muslim, they say to you, can you make Quran better than the Quran? Well, Allah saying that his Quran, he's going to make Quran better than the Quran. And he will make you forget the Quran and you will remember other Quran. And he will cause you to forget and he will cause you to abrogate. Why? Because he want to make something better or similar. And what make it more stupid when he says similar? Why you want to abrogate with something similar? I mean, I understand better how stupid it is, but I cannot believe that he said the word seminar. 
or similar, sorry. Can you believe it? Imagine you have a rose rise and the model is 2018. And then I will say to you, I am going to abrogate, I will destroy your car and give you similar car. Oh Allah, what is that? Rose rise 2018. But, but Allah, it's, this is the same one. Yeah, it says similar. <laughs> Allah will make us forget the Quran to make similar Quran. This is was one of the tricks of Muhammad to cover his ass because he keep forgetting the Quran. And this is why he mentioned the word forgetting. Allah will cause you to forget the Quran. And the Prophet cannot remember the Quran. So what I will say now, I'm a prophet who cannot remember what I said yesterday. No. I will say to them that Allah caused me Quran, but he promised me that yes, he caused me to forget the Quran, but he will make something better or even similar at least. Have you ever heard of a stupid religion like this before? Hmm? Any Muslim have an answer? This is God talking? <coughs> this is how God behave? I will cause you to forget the, my word, but I don't worry. Be happy. I will make you something better or similar. Any Abdul? Any Abdul is wearing a shirt, please. There's a child molester, a priest. He ran to Morocco and he converted to Islam. The Muslim don't talk about him, by the way. He, he's a child molester. He's wanted in USA. He went all the way to Morocco and he converted to Islam. And they were happy to have him for he's a child molester. They don't talk about him. Welcome home. He's going there to wear a naked uh, chest and put his picture in Skype and talk to children. Any Abdul? <clears throat> Hello? Hey, no, no, Muhammad. Listen, Muhammad. Tomorrow we will do. Uh, it's it's enough for for today. You you've been spanked enough, right? Let us continue tomorrow. Do you promise me you will come tomorrow, Ahmed Muhammad? You promise me you will call me tomorrow, but you will be wearing your shirt. Honest to Allah. If you don't wear your shirt, I will tell you, mommy. Okay. Good boy. Okay. Tomorrow, call me and please be sure. You have your shirt. And don't forget to search for the hadith I gave you about Bilal begging for his freedom. Huh? Don't forget. It took you two hours to find the reference, but you could not find it. I found it for you. Okay, good boy. May Allah bless you with the, a lot of versions. Do you want to call me now? Muhammad, do you want me to call me now? Okay, make a research, no problem. I will give you time for tomorrow or the day after, whatever. You know, usually I do a live broadcast one day, yes, one day, no, which means tomorrow, no. But if I do tomorrow, call me. If not, then the day after, you are welcome. All right. Anyway, guys, uh, I hope that today we did learn something good. Uh, you want to call now? Okay, hold on, hold on. You want to call now? What we will do now? He's excited.
Where is your name? Okay. Try to call? Because I don't see your name to call you. I'm looking for your name. Okay, let's see. <coughs> okay, you will give me three minutes to speak. Okay. Three minutes? Why three minutes? Why not three hours? Because I have I have the long answer. I have a long answer to your question. Ooh, long okay. answer. Okay. So okay. so, but this answer about what? Because there's many questions. You never answer any of them. Which one you answer now? Okay. In fact. For uh, for the hadith about uh, what you claim was something inappropriate, the prophet did. He didn't do anything and in inappropriate. Which one? He was which one? Hadith you you, you said about the said which one? Which one? About. Tell me which one? Which the hadith? Last, what, is one. what is that? The one he kissed in the belly of the guy. You say, the two naked the two naked men kissing each other. Is that the one? Okay, one second. The two naked men. go back in the video to see. can you speak louder please okay okay i have it in front of you so what what uh, you said he, gets, he said he did not okay, do anything okay. inappropriate okay okay i'll show you okay <laughs> it says what that he says it says he kissed him in his side mm -hmm. this is kissed him in what his the, side what he the kissed, side what is the side side what, does, the, does what, it, what the side does it mean his belly does it what, mean what, his belly what, okay, okay. Uh, tell me what is what is the side you for you what is that side mean? his arm is like his arm his so arm. This is the prophet kissing the, the the guy or the prophet kissing the arm. Who is kissing who? Yeah, as a man kiss the prophet arms. This mm. is this is extremely normal. He okay. didn't kiss him. In... What what is okay, the what, I, 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 what I is the word? To, I, what I what is the word? Speech. What is the word in Arabic? I need to. You this you. What is the word look, in Arabic? Look, what look is the word? Certain... What is the word used in Arabic in the hadith? Look, look in the video. Look, look friend, in the video. You... Okay, I'm asking you. He kissed his side. What is the word side in the hadith? What is that side? What side? Does it say arm? Don't you see that your own translation? Yeah, it says side. What side? Where is the side? Where is located that side? Side, I would I would I know what uh, where is located is uh, which side the hadith doesn't say which side, but it says in Arabic. Do you see the word Arabic in there? It doesn't have to say which side. It says he he he, he kissed him in the side. What? Okay, let no, me, no, let no, me complete. No. It says in Arabic the word kashahu. What kashahu means? <coughs> let, me, let me complete my speech. Okay, um, Abdul. Me, Abdul. Complete, Abdul the word there in Arabic is kashahu. The Muslim translation is saying this is not my translation. They are saying his side. What kashahu mean? You you know what kashahu? Uh, even know. this you, this word you tell this me, you word tell me means what kashahu? What kashahu mean? He, he kissed word? him. He kissed him in kashahu. What kashahu mean? Kissed him in his side. What is side? Where? Where's side? There is uh, this arm. This arm. This is this is side. It's okay? arm. Okay. It's, one second. It's, what? it's arm. Let me complete my speech. Okay. Mm -hmm. This was nothing in in a, um, inappropriate. Okay, it okay. was nothing un inappropriate. It, there was no, at least where it says that he pricked the practice to get in. Okay, do you, want, do, you want do you want to challenge me I, that? Do you want me to challenge? I need, you want to, I need to complete my. Do you want you, to you, challenge me that kashahu mean the down of his belly? Yes or no? You need. You need. Uh, this. This has. This has nothing to do with anything gay. Does, you does, said his arm. You said his arm. Does that, what does kind of a man? Why the man does, is kissing him? Not the hadith. Why a man kissing him down, one question, one question, down his question. side? What side? You said his arm. You are lying. It's not his arm. Okay, his side. Okay, his okay, side. What side? Where, where? Where exactly? Where? Where in his where? side? Where? How should I know? Did I live here? Where? Did I live his, there by his that West? Time? His West? His belly side? His okay. West? Is that his West? In his side. Is that okay, his, one second. One is second. that his does, West? Is that his West? One question. Is that one his question. West? Yes or no? Is does, that the West? Is that the West? 
What's the hadith hello, says? Hello, do do hello, good boy. I'm asking you, please. Is the word kashahu mean? Here we go. The hadith in front of me in Arabic. Is the word kashahu mean the waist of the man? Yes or no? It's, the translation says. I don't care about translation. You speak Arabic. You claim you speak Arabic, right? What the word yes, kashahu? Yeah, okay. What the word kashahu mean? One second. I've never heard this word in in, uh, but I know I know numerous numerous people who said it means his side. Hmm. Where okay. is that? Where is that location? Is that between the belly and the back of the side, or his back, but in the west side, does it, does west it, area, but, which means down the belly, which means down second, the belly. Is that is that the from? Is that a from? Down the belly, down the the belly bomb, down in his your west, all the way to the back, all the way to the back. One, that, one, one, one. What does one, one, mean? What does one mean? One question. One question. Let's assume it means the belly. Okay. Did they practice any? They did they kiss each other by mouth and anything like this? The guy was no. kissing by what? He was kissing him. When, when the guy no. when the guy he kissed him in that location he was using his mouth, right? No. This is did they kiss in his mouth like loot when he when he slept Abdul, with his Abdul. daughters. So you are saying or Noah, you are saying there's drunk, nothing wrong. Or, or was, okay, you are saying there's nothing wrong if a man he start kissing you and your belly and down your waist. You are saying it's okay. You, you don't know. Do, do you have anything to prove that he was practicing gay? Abdul, no. This is gay. A man. Why a man no. is kissing a man there? Not okay, gay. Give me, Maybe okay, give me a reason why he is kissing him there. A man kissing a man there. Why? And he's telling him, "Don't stop. This is how I like it. Right there, right there." No, this is how I like it. Yeah, this is how I like it, guys. He said, "This is how I like it." So your prophet, he like it to to be kissed there. First of all, the Quran, the Quran. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You are saying that when the guy is kissing him and he down his belly, your prophet, he said, "This is how I like it. Kiss me there." Is that normal for the Arab? Do you 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 are an Egyptian? This boy. was normal, but by the Arabs. In, in Egypt, he, in Egypt, can, do you do you, you kiss each other down the belly? Can you find? Can you find? Mm. Can you find me a hadith where he kissed someone by mouth and kissed him, kissed him, and uh, practiced gay gay okay, thing? What if I do you know? Okay, what do if, you know in Sharia? Okay, in hold, Sharia, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If, if I show you, if I show you your prophet not only kissing licking, what you will do? This I I know what you will do. You you will do. Which what, hadith what, you will what, use? What hadith I will use? That, this had, tell me I what, know which one. one. Which one? Tell me I which one. I don't remember the exact. No, tell me which one. No, you don't remember. You are a liar. Always, tell me which always one. Tell me which one. You don't remember anything. You know you know nothing. All what you know, you no, have no shirt. Tell me which hadith you remember. I will speak about about your prophet licking a face of a man, a male. Who? You miss. Who? You're always always misinterpretation. So now it's you agree that, that your prophet against... your prophet kiss men and lick them. Not only he kissed one, them. One second, one second. Now Are you this, aware? Now answer me. Uh, answer me. Is it normal? Is it is it is it from the practice of the Muslims today to follow the Sunnah of the Prophet? The Prophet he like it to be kissed there. Do you when you see your friend kiss them down their belly? Do you do that or no? This was a, a, something that has nothing to do with gays. What so okay. it, it had to do with what? Then it has it you, to you, do with what? It had to do with what? Tell you me. are having a I, very difficult naked, time. Finding naked something. men, they have no shirt on. Muhammad, he left his shirt up. Muhammad, he left his shirt up. Why he left okay, his shirt up? What the and the guy, and the guy the start hadith. and the guy start start doing the what? Hadith. They start the kissing. Hadith. They start the kissing hadith. each other, my friend. And the Does prophet, the hadith the he prophet says like they it. have. And now do you see? You see, you, don't, you did lie to us. You said that the word does the hadith mean say sex? No, it hold, doesn't hold say sex. You Lut said, with his you daughters, said right? the word kashah mean arm. Did Lut sleep with you, his see the, you see the dictionary in front of you. Do you see the dictionary? It says, Ma bayna al -khasira ila al al -khalf. Do you see it? Between the waist down, al -khasira, huh? all the way to back is of his ass. The does guy, the hadith. My friend, That's this is what he's say. kissing him. I, so what if this hadith? Why a man? Why a prophet of God? But Abdul, why a prophet of God is kissing and uh, and the man kissing each other in, in in such a place? What kind of a behavior is behavior? If this is not Does gay, he this, say that this he is had sex with him. Oh, oh, Does he say? Oh, obviously, this is sexual because he, uh, this is kissing. A man oh, kissing okay. a man. And when Lut, a man, when slept with a his man kissing what, a what man in a naked what? body. Oh. Down his belly. You lie to us. You said his arm. You are a liar. Besides, 
That was the translation to our own translation. I showed you the dictionary. It's when Lut slept with his daughters. Abdul, when Noah was Abdul, drunk. Abdul, listen. So Lut speak sleep with his daughter. Muhammad slept with the, with his daughter too. No, he didn't sleep with he his did. daughter. Too. First of all, Lut is not. Who is Lut? Who is Lot? Look, Prophet Lot. You okay, say what, he's what he's what okay, he's what he's what he's Listen, listen, listen. Just how to show, can you follow just to show a prophet? You, just to show you how stupid prophet. you are. Just to show you how stupid you are. The Bible says that the daughter of Lot, they slept with him. Not him. He slept with them. They made him drunk. He is not aware. The guy is asleep. Uh, and, and, and God didn't protect him from being from there. From okay, from okay, okay hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So here the Bible is reporting what the daughters did. It's not what God told them. This is stupid of you to accuse them of anything. Really? And when Moses Abdul, talks Abdul, about Abdul, the virgin girl, Abdul, Abdul, now listen. Here we go. We have a prophet of God. He go to visit his son and he flirt with his wife. And we have a guy kissing the prophet Billy down. And we have and a, we have a guy who is drunk. You know a prophet who, who gets who? drunk. Muhammad is drunk. You want me to show you? No, 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 no. You want me to show you? Do you want to me to show you? So what? So what? You know, you Muslims, you say, you Muslims, you say that the prophet and the believers used to be drunk day and night. No. It was Noah drunk was after your prophet? The, after the he thought? can be a drunk, so what? So what? So why? So what? So why? And he curses his grandchild Abdul, Abdul, let me show you because how, he curses let me, him. Let me, let me show him you curses how his, let me show, because let I was drunk. Let me show you. Let me show you what. No, he curses his son because he was insult making fun of him. Let me making show you. Let me him? show you that's, how that's stupid. Yes, this is what he might make him fun. Of. I can show you the same story that from you. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If I show you the same story from your books, your prophet saying that. Are you going to spit at your prophet saying shame on you to believe in this prophet? If I show you the Luke, same story of Noah, I was, if I show you the same story which you are making fun about Noah, if I show you the same story, your prophet reporting that, what you will do? Do you promise me to open your camera and you dance naked for us? Do you challenge me? Why well, you are quiet? Okay. Do you challenge me? Do you okay. accept to challenge me to show you your prophet caught in the same story? Okay, and if uh, and if he went. is saying that you are making fun of it, are you willing to say that your prophet is a scumbag? He's a stupid. He's filthy because you are making fun of the Bible. So if you're a prophet teaching the same story and he believe in now what to be a prophet after he did that, are you willing to say Muhammad is a stupid scumbag? No, I'm not willing to say see. That. So you are a coward. You are a hypocrite. No. But so why you are mentioning it? And let me show put, you the Muslims, dance, the Muslims and the Prophet. They, they, they all of you used to be drunk. The Quran says, the Quran says, Wala salata wa antum sukara. Don't get close to the prayer when you are drunk. Why? Do you want to read Ibn Kathir? Do you want me to read Ibn Kathir? Because never, simply, because okay, simply okay, they used to be to drunk me. day and night. And do you want me to show you your prophet teaching the Muslims how to make how to make wine? Just to mix in. Do you want okay. me to show you the prophet? Okay, one second. One listen, second. If listen. You, as long as you are the one who opened the, this topic, if you do win, you want me I to will. show you? Do you want me to show you the prophet teaching the Muslims how to make wine? And if you show me, hmm. uh, I don't have. I won't admit, but I can do what you read in the front of you. Read it. But. It, but was was the believers drunk people and allah he if, said to them no problem if i prove to you that uh, that noah did this thing you will you're with the one who i know what he did Abdul. i did not say you see how stupid you are i know what noah, the, i know what noah did so what i know what noah did he got a drunk so be the one who listen danced. listen okay. if noah he got a drunk so what so I, what I, a man in I his house listen listen abdul okay. a man in his house he did not go and sleep around with women. He is in his house and he is a drunk. What the problem? Okay. What at, at that time, at that time, if we say to you, can you show me the law? It says it's forbidden for you to drink. You will say it, there is no law at that time. So shut up. If I show you this verse, chapter four, verse number 34, the Muslims are drunk and they are coming to the mosque are drunk. If I say to you how the Muslims are drunk and they are coming to the mosque drunk, you will say to me at that it's time it was okay. But you will say to me at that time it was okay, correct? It's called abrogation. I don't care. At this time, it was okay, correct or no? At that time, of course. Of course. So, how many years after Noah and you Muslim is still practicing drunkenness? Okay, but this is. Don't tell me okay, is, Abdul. Don't tell me okay. How you are saying you are making fun of Noah to be drunk, and he is right after Adam, the beginning of mankind. 
there's no law it says to him to be drunk or not God nowhere says to him be drunk or not people they still marry in their sisters sisters be according to your Quran the children of Adam they fought with each other because one of them he want to marry the other girl who have no cross eyes and Allah he asked them to give a Qurban and then Allah he took the shish kebab he refused the falafel and then the guy he killed his brother because he want to take the women who have no cross eyes and you are making fun of Noah for being drunk when you're a prophet and the believers are drunk if you if you build if Abdul, you, why you are changing the topic why the Quran second. why the Quran saying Alcohol is a blessing from Allah and it's a miracle. Explain. Hey, okay, uh, let me let does me the Quran, one second. Does the Quran, does the Quran say? Does the Quran say that alcohol is a great and it is a Sir, miracle from Allah? Yes or no? Thirty seconds for me. Yes or no? Respond. Yes or no? You are the one who's yeah, making. I'll, you, I'll, are, you are saying that it's a shame for for a prophet to be drunk. You are the one who said that. So I'm asking you, why your prophet teaching the Muslims how to make wine and why he was drunk? And why, and why the Quran saying it's okay to drink but please when you come to the mosque please don't be drunk and why the Quran saying that wine is a miracle of Allah I I promise to 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 dance without a shirt on camera if you prove to me that he said he said make wine okay promise. you will dance in the camera yes all right without shirt. Guys, get, you get, re him. get ready. <clears throat> the hadith must be sahih. Ah, must be sure, sure, sure. So we know from now what you will say. You will say it is, it is not. Uh, <laughs> it's not sahih. We know already. Like he's, he's making himself. He making. Uh, <laughs> he's making an excuse not to dance. It must be sahih, brother. Yeah, for sure, we will give you a Sahih Hadith. <coughs> okay. Do you have your short your shirt on? There's no Hadith like this. Okay, do you, but it. do you have your shirt on? Where is the hadith? Hold on. <clears throat> One who falls on ranking prophet. <laughs> <clears throat> Looks like you don't have the hadith. No, I have it, my friend. Trust me, it's in the front of me. I'm just looking for the one which will make you happy. <laughs> you have no idea. You're talking to who, my friend? <clears throat> All right. Read this hadith for me. I'm not opening YouTube exactly. I will open it. Zoom out. I would zoom out. It is out. What is how you saying? Oh. 
Okay, this was the thirsty, pe thirsty people by this time. It was, uh, it was forced to, they, were, they used are, to drink. Are they? Who, are they? Who, are they? who are they, those people? The Arabs. What? The Arabs, the Arabs and what the used Ara to drink what, wine. Uh huh. So what, what he is saying, what, what the problem here? What's the problem here? This was abrogated. It's abrogated. <laughs> Where it says it's abrogated. What, what do you mean? You are the one who said that the prophet don't do that. And you are the one who is saying to me, I show me and I will dance. And I, I just showed you the beginning. I did not show you everything. I want to show you more. But now why you are lying and you, why you promise me you will dance if I show you? This is abrogated. The hadith is abrogated too? No, this is the idea. This idea that you used to drink beer in the past. Ah, and they used abrogated. to drink beer. This is beer? <laughs> Why? Whatever. <laughs> Come. Come. Oh, boy. You know, Abdul. <coughs> Not the abrogated hadith. The abrogated Ab Abdul. 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 Abdul, your prophet was a drunk man and he used to be no, drunk for three drunk. days or three nights. Now you promise me if I show it to you, you will dance. Are you willing to keep your promise? Are you going to open the camera for us and dance? Yes or no? Okay, but if you will dance now. <clears throat> hmm? Okay. You will open the camera? But see, you know it's abrogated. What's abrogated? I don't care. You said the prophet did not do that, and you made fun of Noah for being drunk. Okay, so when, because when you, when you this was and your prophet, for the Arabs. This was for, uh, directed listen, to listen, the Arabs. Uh, listen, listen. Do you see the hadith in front of your eyes? I saw it. This one, this one, this is a new one. This is a, even a disaster. What do you say? How many times you are going to dance for us today? But too bad there's no gays in this chat. You know, we, we should send you to a gay section so you can dance for them. My friend, next time you want to call me, try to get me someone educated. What about you call your scholar, the sheikh, you go to his mosque? Can you do that? I admit I'm not educated, but I I I know what I read the I meant that nothing. this is abrogation. My friend, my friend, abrogation or what? Your prophet was a drunk man. The, the no, he wasn't drunk. drunk. He, he was a drunk he, man. Okay, you know what? Okay, where is drunk? When Muhammad, when Muhammad, when Muhammad he came, you are the one who mentioned to me that Muhammad adopted a son. Is that correct? It, this was as it, it the careful. Okay, do the careful. He adopted a son. You said that, right? Okay. This son, he have a wife. Is it true that your prophet he flirt with the wife? Yes or no? What again? Tell me again. Is it true that your prophet during the marriage of this man, your prophet he flirt with his own son wife when she is married? Yes he didn't or no? flirt. Huh? He didn't flirt. He married. He married he, here. He flirt. He flirt. He he said to her bad words. He said to her, "I love you." He said, "I am. Uh, my heart is a flipping for you." You know? Johan, you are, you are going to create with Tabari. Tabari is a several stories. I don't, and care. Several... I don't care who. This is your Islamic scholars, and this is your story. Okay, this is uh, what making making wine. This was abrogated. I admit. Hmm. And uh, Muhammad is flirting with married women. Is abrogated. This is uh, this is for Tabari. Uh, uh, Can uh, we get? Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. okay, is it abrogated? Is it okay for a prophet of God? You are complaining about Noah. Cursing his okay. son. This was, was, this was for, you, you are complaining about Noah cursing his son because he made fun of him when he was a drunk. What do you say of a prophet flirt with married women and this woman she is married to his son when he is not a drunk? This was for Arabs. Arabs Arabs what used Arab? to, to, to ban something from what Arabs. Arab? What Arab? What Arab? The guy, the Arab never I can show you the proof that the Arab they never allowed. That a man he sleep with his adopted son, Muhammad this, is the one who started that. Now, why Muhammad he flirt with married women? Adopted. Is it is it allowed in Islam to flirt with married women? Yes or no? 
this is not allowed in Islam. Uh, and is, Tabari is, not is a separate So why Muhammad is flirting with the women? Tabari is separate stores. What the, tabari who said it's a Tabari? I did not say it's a Tabari. Yes, I know because I know the source. My friend, tabari. you do not know. You have no idea. What if I show it to you from the source you like? What source you want me to read for you? Surprise, surprise. Name the, the name the source for me. Stop playing games. What source you like? The stories you like, if you had Sahih al-Bukhari, give Sahih Hadith. Ah, Sahih al-Bukhari. First of all, I will not say anything against my prophet for, uh, for the one. Okay. First of all, you are a kid. Second of all, you have no idea. Third of all, whatever you say, I'm going to spank you. Number four, it doesn't matter where you jump, which branch, I will break it and I will cut it off and it will make you fall down to the ground. And you will fall down in your ass and you will cry and you will say, I'm sorry. I am an idiot because I'm a Muslim. And look now, guys, he's saying he will dance in the camera. <laughs> he want to keep his promise. He want to dance in the camera, guys. Look, look what he said to me. I will dance in the camp. I'm, and uh, sorry, I cannot let you do that. We are not a bunch of gays here. Go and find a gay chat room in Saudi Arabia. They will be happy to see you doing that. Get lost. What an idiot. Looked like it was a great opportunity for him to do it. You know? The guy, he could not even like waste the opportunity. Like, did you ask me to dance in the camera? Yes, please. <laughs> I will have a 300 400 people watching me. Oh boy, please, I will dance in the camera. <clears throat> anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for being here. I hope today we have a good time together. And um, I feel sorry for this guy. Actually, I don't want really to, uh, to humiliate anyone, but it's not your fault. Islam is a stupid religion. It doesn't matter what you do. It's not your fault that you speak to someone who knows too much and you are ignorant. It's not your fault that even if you know, you will be actually more in trouble. Actually, for me, I find it a lot easier to debate someone he knows a lot because that will make it easier for me to get him busted. You know what I mean? A lot easier from debating someone is ignorant. But those people, you notice, it doesn't matter who you debate. I debate the guy who have a degree, PhD, or I debate a guy who is uh, naked in the camera and Skype. Both of them are the same at the end of the day. They get surprised by what you know. You see, the Muslims, they don't expect you to know a lot. So they are they are used to, to debate average Christians who know a few things about Islam. Oh, your prophet, is, he married six years old. This is what you know? He's expecting you to talk about that. He know he heard it many times. So it's, you know, so they don't expect someone to knows a lot. I mean, this guy, wherever we go, he beat us. It doesn't matter what we speak about. And this is why they are so upset from me. Because it doesn't matter where they go. Mention to me three words, any of your choice. Even say microwave, I will give you a hadith about it. from any three words of your choice, Muslims. And I will make you laugh at your prophet. My friend, this cult is a stupid, made by a stupid man for the man. And in order to, to believe in it, you have to be stupid. You have to be truly, truly an idiot donkey to believe that there is a god who will make a penis endless i mean i do not need to be genius to know that this is stupid endless penis i mean what you would do with endless penis you will run, run it as a cable between the galaxy what you will make it internet cable you live in new york but your penis is in china and what if your penis went through the jungles of brazil do you know those uh, snakes and ants and those like fish who eat? Uh, what if your penis go in the river of the Amazon? Do you know what they will do to it? Can you imagine, brother, endless penis? You must be endless, stupid to believe in endless penis.
A human being sometimes is stupid. I mean, how in the world somebody have a brain? A human being can believe in this. Even donkeys will not believe in it. Look at this guy. He said to me, don't misquote. How I can misquote endless penis. <laughs> okay, give us interpretation what the endless penis mean. Go ahead, your majesty. You want to call me? Guys, don't misquote. Look at this. Don't misquote. Okay, you quote for us the English penis in context. Tell us what does that mean exactly? I'm not going to misquote. You explain. <clears throat> Brother Thetar, there's a Christian guy who named the Christian prince. And he always say there is the English penis. First of all, he is misquoting the penis. The penis here, it means a cucumber. It's very well known that in the heaven, we would like to have a lot of a cucumber. And Allah is promising us an English cucumber. It's a penis. It is a penis. What misquote? Explain to me how I misquote the penis. It's endless penis. What is the misquote? What a crazy religion. Anyway. You are stupid. You could not. Find anything in Bukhari about Zainab? <laughs> so if I find you something in Bukhari about Zainab, you will you what you will do? <laughs> what an idiot! Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you. And until we we'll see you again, if not tomorrow, the day after. As always, we say, Christ is Lord, Islam is false, and it's time to go. See you soon. May the Lord bless you all. And don't forget to help us in what we do if you care for what we do. Take the videos, download them, share with your friends, invite your friends, uh, tell them about what we do, and read my books. You can just search my name is in Amazon.com, and you can find my books there in any Amazon of any country because, you know, Amazon have Amazon.com, .de, France, etc. So search for my books, read them, watch my videos. And thank you for those who help us and make donation always. God bless you and see you soon again. Bye-bye.